darkness all over the world where a dark man was being oppressed, he was being oppressed by the white man. Where the dark man was being exploited, he was being exploited by the white man. So they got together under this basis that they had a common enemy. And when you and I here in Detroit and in Michigan and in America who have been awakened today, look around us, we too realize here in America we all have a common enemy. Whether he's in Georgia or Michigan, whether he's in California or New York, he's the same man. Blue eyes and blonde hair and pale skin. Same man. Don't let the enemy know that you got a disagreement. Instead of us airing our differences in public, we have to realize we're all the same family. And when you have a family squabble, you don't get out on the sidewalk. If you do, everybody calls you uncouth, unrefined, uncivilized, savage. If you don't make it at home, you, take, you settle it at home. You get in the closet, argue it out behind closed doors. And then when you come out on the street, you pose a common front, a united front. And this is what we need to do in the community and in the city and in the state. We need to stop airing our differences in front of the white man. Put the white man out of our meeting, number one, and then sit down and talk shop with each other. Go you got to <laughs> These Negroes aren't asking for no nation. They're trying to crawl back on the plantation. A revolution is bloody. Revolution is hostile. Revolution knows no compromise. Revolution overturns and destroys everything that gets in its way. And you sitting around here like a knot on the wall saying, I'm going to love these folks no matter how much they hate me. No, you need a revolution. In the last 500 years, black people in this area of the world, we can say that there's no such thing as black culture. What there is is what the system of racism, white supremacy, programs black people to do. You see, in other words, if the system of racism, white supremacy says, you are not going to be scientists. You are not going to be highly functioning doctors and lawyers and teachers. You are not going to have stable family life. You are not going to respect sex. Now, your role is to entertain me so you can jump up and down and sing you can dance, and yes, you're good at sports. You can do that in some, in some venues. That's what I'm going to allow you to do. I'm not going to allow you to have stable communities because if you have a Tulsa, Oklahoma, I'm going to burn that down. If you think you're going to stabilize a so-called middle-class community and you're going to have a home that's mortgaged, I'm going to see that those mortgages are foreclosed so that you can be into family dissolution, place of living dis dissolved. So what we can say is that we have an imposed culture under the power dynamics of racism, white supremacy. See, I can see right now in my mind the picture of Beyonce with her legs wide open at the Super Bowl for last year. It was so appalling to me I can't get it out of my mind in terms of what has been done to us. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we would be wiser. No, we are trying to get ourselves to the point where we can establish 
what we would then call black culture, where we will no longer be victims of a system of racism, white supremacy. So once the re system of racism, white supremacy has been replaced with a system of justice, that's when we will start talking about our culture. That's when we will begin talking about who we really are as black people. Greetings, no. Massive. Well. Hey. Wagwan, Jamaica. Can everybody please give Aubrey a big round of applause for the great introduction? I want to thank the University of the West Indies for hosting us. Big up, UE. Thank you. Yeah, I've been making myself at home here. It has to do and surrounds U.S. policy as it regards the, the legalization and decriminalization of marijuana. How did I anticipate this? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, man. It's, How did I guess this question? Yes, and, um, yes, and Mr. President, it really comes on the foreground of we, we face economic challenges with the IMF, etc. But, and we find realistically that the hemp industry, the marijuana industry, provides a highly feasible alternative to rise up out of poverty. So I am wanting to overstand and to understand how, uh, how U.S. is visioning, how, how would you see Jamaica pushing forward on a decriminalization, legalization emphasis on the hemp industry? Miguel Stepper Williams. In response, Mr. Obama said there were several issues to consider and he outlined what the concerns were in the United States regarding legalization and decriminalization. There is the issue of legalization of marijuana and then there is the issue of decriminalizing or dealing with the incarceration and in some cases devastation of communities as a consequence of nonviolent drug offenses. I am a very strong belief that the path that we have taken in the United States in the so-called war on drugs has been so heavy in emphasizing incarceration that it has been counterproductive. You have young people who did not engage in violence, who get very long penalties, get placed in prison, and what we're trying to do is to reform our criminal justice system. The U.S. president then spoke directly to the view that legalizing or decriminalizing marijuana would provide economic benefits for poor economies and the problems of that view. There's then the second issue of uh, legalizing marijuana, whether it's medical marijuana or recreational use. There are two states in the United States that have embarked on an experiment to decriminalize or legalize marijuana, Colorado and Washington State. And we will see how that experiment works its way through uh, the process. Uh, right now, that is not federal policy, and I do not foresee any time soon Congress changing the law at a national basis. Straight up. Straight up, a vehicle designed to take you from mid-morning to midday with a minimum of discomfort and unlimited safety and timeliness. We brake at designated stops and observe pedestrian crossings. There's no charge for the ride, but garbage will be returned as small change. Body protrusion, indecent exposure, and political campaigning are punishable under the regulations. Advertising is welcome, but vending is prohibited. We apologize for any bumpy road surface, but we'll avoid pitfalls and crawl across potholes. Fasten your seat belt, please. Straight up, there is small time. Drive up! Don't oh, stop at all! Drop this Arizona Rona album all! Drive up! Don't even eat, collect the little food there, you come back quick, driver. Don't remember the damn speed limit, cause if you're running the fence, my friend, that is it. Look at 
talking to all man, say the thing for work, see? Take back yourself and bring back yourself in a one piece. Make sure see you reach. Hear me? Now the mercy. Hey, now all this mercy. Now the mercy. Drive out. Oh, I'm not running on the feds. Wait, they, them flash the beast. Some, some vehicle come there aside, flash the beast two times and make them know so the feds. And, the, and them still running on the feds. Anyway, greetings, new stock. Walk one straight up. Yeah, man, we are learned, man. No, me go here from a half pint. Yes, half pint. Make him know is what kind of thing. You live the life you love. You love the life yeah, you hear him say, though, he might live the life him love. I know that Obama. You saw him land at the airport, you see how quick I am after he meet the official party. Not even five minutes in the stay there, you know. Matter of fact, he never even tell him something. You just see him take time and walk away, walk away. He man up the secret service, just walking away. And I wonder what's the rush. But the most on him way, um, him live the life, him live on him under pressure and all that. I'm going to hear half pint again. Yeah, man, him under pressure. Land in a Jamaica under pressure, and him know. Him know what him need for relieve some of the pressure. When Portia greeted Obama at the airport, now, we couldn't hear what he was saying. But him read her lips, and um, after him asked her for something, him read her lips. What she tell him, say? She can't give him more than a two ounce parcel. For it's not legal, only up to two ounces legal, and she tell him where to pick it up. And two, two, you just see him drift her from the crowd. Him leave the airport so quick. Anyway, under pressure, and him know what to do to relieve the pressure. Matter of fact, him say, is the biggest um, highlight time old presidency. Highlight when him light. When him get to go light, him things and feel high. Anyway, under pressure. See him ready, my half pint greetings. Let's hear from Super Cat. Sit right from the top, right from the top. Because the world leader, them are under pressure. And sometimes when them under pressure, them have to visit Jamaica sometimes, some visit different places and take off the pressure straight up. So, super cat. Only some of the expression dedication to the world and its life, you can't say the first and fight. When you're black, purple, blue, or white, let's get together and all unite. Oh, you mean? If a guy does the tune, just set him soul for fire. Come and take it from the cat and be here back right now. When we call it, I'm the first of the world, I'm the first of the man. Yeah, man, and him go relieve the pressure, go up on Oprah there. Traveling up the whole Oprah road to find him, um, a lamb's bread, him go up on Bob Marley and, um, cool out before him even reach the hotel. It's a sleepless night, uh, you know, insomnia, can't sleep. I forgot to take something, can't go to put him to sleep and, um, but anyway, they did hear about that already. But when he went, he, he revealed a little that the youth forum more and more. You know, a man wine with the youth them. And him quoted Bob Marley. Quoted Bob Marley's example. Because after Bob Marley gets shot, he, he mix up the peace concert, the One Love concert with the Smile Jamaica concert. Because he was saying that Bob Marley get shot when he was preparing for a concert to bring the leaders of Jamaica together. No, that's after him got shot. He was preparing a concert to promote tourism and get back Jamaica calm, say smile Jamaica although you're in trouble pour some water in the well and get off the evil spell it's after him get shot now he met the peace concert but no, no big thing making that mistake he said that after Bob Marley get shot he was still going to the show and people said how come you're still going to the show Bob Marley said to him say the people who want to make the world worse are not taking the day off why should I Mali was schooled by the same masters straight up was school in Selassie. Selassie tell you that when there are no days off, when good people are inactive, that is when bad people get to take over. So it is the inactivity and the silence of good people that cause bad people to take over and take over the talk and the influence. Selassie school we that way, school Bob Mali that way and Bob Mali convey it back even to Obama say. There are no days off, bad people were not, he said there are no days off. That's why you know, say, straight up take every day like a holiday and every holiday like a working day. But it's not about straight up. Obama lesson from Mali. 
Now Obama's first lesson to Portia was after she lost the 2007 election. She lost the 2007 election, but he wasn't able to give her the lesson until after he won the nomination a year later, 2008. He, to he taught her how she was to deal with differences of Peter previous opponents. Her handlers coached her to sideline Peter Phillips and sideline all of the Peter Phillips candidates before. And they sidelined some people who could have helped them win the election. They lost the election in 2007, the most popular leader in the history of Jamaica. Lost the election to what they would call the most colorless leader in the history of Jamaica, Bruce Golden. But he beat them because she sidelined. Not she would have done it now. I don't think she would have done it herself. Her handlers influenced her to sideline the Peter Phillips people. All the candidates, about 20 of them, about 10 of them might have won for her. But she sidelined them. Obama one year later taught her how to deal with it. Clinton was his, Hillary Clinton was his biggest enemy and opponent, called, um, also Biden, biggest enemy and opponent inside the Democratic Party, said some terrible things about him. When he won the nomination, what did he do? He hugged them close. Hugged them closer than a friend. Hugged Clinton closer than a friend, different from what the handlers told her to do with Peter Phillips crew. And he hugged up Biden and make him, him vice presidential candidate. And he taught her that lesson, but that was while she was in opposition, while she was being the biggest nightmare. He taught her that lesson. She learned a little. But there was no um there was more 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 lessons. Not only that, he taught her and taught the whole world, including Colin Powell and uh, Miss um what's her name again? Miss Condalisa Rice. He taught them because when McCain, the guy opponent of him was baiting him up and trying to pull him strings when they was campaigning, saying some terrible things about them about him, he kept his cool in such a way that it impressed even them enemies and impressed even some opponents from the other party. Condoleezza Rice and Colin Paul were the two most prominent and the first time two black people were so prominent in the American cabinet. And they were Republicans in the other party and when they saw how cool this candidate Obama was, never allow him strings to be pulled. Neither him tongue, never allow him tongue to be pulled. Colin Powell was so impressed that him shed tears. He was overcome by tears and said, boy, what, this is a presidential behavior by a candidate who has not even been nominated yet or who has not even confirmed yet. Condoleezza Rice also was moved to tears and gave him an endorsement. Somebody from the other party, she gave her him back in. She gave him her back in. Both Rice and Powell give, the, give him them back in because of the way how him react under pressure. You don't understand me. So now, Obama declined the Porsche principle, which said, don't draw my tongue. And at the same time, she said, don't draw her tongue. She's allowing her tongue to be twisted. The very same breath where she said, don't draw her tongue, her tongue started to twist and she started to talk. So we're not going to Porsche now. We're only sure that she, she never understand at that time. And him give her some lesson and she gained after that. But recently, she kind of get. She can allow the gay guy them in New York, the Jamaican, the J gays them to draw her tongue and twist her tongue. And Obama is coaching her. That's not the way to react. Not the way to react. My, my, matter of fact, Obama teach her next principle. Says, speak softly, but carry a big spliff. You know, understand? Speak softly, but you carry a big spliff. You know, say, you're well arm and thing, a big head spliff. The, the principle used to be speak softly, as you know, but carry a big stick. Well, uh, the big stick not built up yet, but Obama built up the stick. Cut this problem build a half to a good herb. Cut the, the, the stick in half. But anyway, but Obama is not a Martin Luther King. Not a Malcolm X. But he's more of a Michael Manley out of America. Yeah, that is the kind of person. The communicator. That is why I resemble Michael Manley, by being the communicator that make Reagan. Reagan was legendary as a communicator, you know. But Obama, Obama make him look like a, a, a soft, a Powell, back a bolt. Them say Reagan a great communication, communicator. Well, Obama make Reagan look like a, a soft, a Powell. And a soft is great, you know. But the rising of bolt is the setting down of a, Obama, of a, of a soft. Anyway, um... Yeah, man, the great communication make um, Obama be like a Michael Manley. And him show Portia even how to score with the gays while playing it straight. You see how subtle him is? Him teaching her how to score with the gay community while playing it straight. What him do? 
while in, in the youth conference there, him just make a reference to um, somebody in the audience, one of the young lead, youth leaders, as Angeline, a girl, a woman, a lesbian, you know him say? Angeline, a woman, a lesbian who has been sexually assaulted from her youth, but she overcome it. And she's a great business leader now. So I'm just subtly just putting that in there and raise the topic of a gay woman and so on and so on and make the people comfortable. At the same time, him know say Jamaica is a place that I'm um, sensitive to to gay dominance. But him subtly put it in a way that um, I'm showing her and others how to walk through the raindrops. You know, understand me? Well, anyway, he also was subtly referred to Claude, Claude McKay, that great Jamaican poet. He referred to him as a Jamaican-American poet. You see how subtle it is? And not only that subtle, Obama is very aware that McKay, Claude McKay, the Jamaican poet, one of the greatest poets in the English language, was a bisexual. You might not know, but Obama know that Claude McKay, one of the greatest poets in the English language of all time, and the greatest Jamaican poet probably up to now is a was a bisexual. So I'm just putting that there neatly. And then afterward, I'm start the question and answer session. I'm telling you, them, so, all right, we're going, here's what we're going to do it now. Here's the order where we're going to do it to answer the question. Boy, girl, boy, girl. In other words, one boy gets to answer the question, then a girl, then a boy, then a girl. I'm sure they must split it equal. But at the same time, I'm sure it says boy, girl, boy, girl. I'm deal with it. It's him and Michelle. It's not him and... Um, it's not him and a guy. It's him and Michelle. But it's not him and the guys who want to appear and him and the girls who want to appear. But it's boy, girl, boy, girl. That's how we're going to approach the question and answer. You know, understand? And he also gives some more advice to the youth. How him youth. One of the youth, them ask him, how do you deal with setbacks and all that kind of thing, you know? Some big setback. Him say, you know what you do? How you deal with setbacks, you know, and disappointments? You try not to get too high when things are going well. You don't wait till setback take place, you know? You deal with setback. You deal with setback when everything going well. By just calm yourself and don't get carried away with everything going well. Don't make your head get too swell. And that is how you will deal with setback when them come. Because when you get too high and carried away when everything going nice, when setback come, you turn fool and start talk all kind of foolishness and you get depressed. So he's telling them deal with the thing before it happen. By what? Dealing, living the present. When you're feeling high and things going well, you just keep calm and don't get. You know, out of, you know, you don't get out of your rim. Anyway, because you will come down to it rather hard. And he warned Jamaicans also about them government. He said, if you don't know what the deal is with China, China is nice and China is good, but he warned you, if you don't know what the deal is with the government and the government officials in China, if you don't know what um, secret deals they're making, it might not be good for you. Dealing with China is good, but if you don't know what is the deal, and they are making the deal privately, it might not be good for you. I am on the down consider down behind him to raise up her eyebrow because I warn them say some of the officials might be being dishonest and making some secret deal. When I warn the youth of that, I am on the down on the PNP MP, very bright, not MP, PNP senator. Very bright, she raised up her eyebrow. I said, hmm, I did touch power and touch the thing there. And her eyebrow is kept raised for about the next 10 minutes all when I'm gone to other topic. Now Michael Manley, you know, all, just as a bomb is like a Michael Manley, American Michael Manley with his communication skills. Michael Manley had requested Isla Selassie to endorse him, you know, with a visit. In other words, he asked Isla Selassie to come visit Jamaica while he was Prime Minister. That would boost him up to get probably two or three more terms. But Selassie declined from being used for, being, for the second time. Selassie declined Michael Manley's invitation to be used for the second time. Because Michael Manley had used Haile Selassie. By portraying Haile Selassie has given him a rod to rule Jamaica, falsely portraying him and use the picture for win the first election. So Haile Selassie did not come to Jamaica. Matter of fact, he told him that he's not interested in any state visit, but he's more interested in visits from individuals and organizations. He did say so publicly. Then now, but a Portia request for Obama to endorse her while both of them is in office. In other words, I want you to visit me while you are still president, you know. And I want you to visit me while I'm still prime minister. We're not going to wait until after me lose. Please come now. That, you can, that I can get a second chance, you might help me get a, win, win a second term. And he did grant her a request. He did grant her a request different from how Alice Lassie had to reject Michael Manley's request. And she, um, she displayed 
her picture of him on her visit. You know, Portia was circulating how she did visit Obama and she displayed a picture with she and Michelle and him. But she didn't falsify the picture like what, and doctor the picture like what Michael Manley people did doctor the picture of him and Selassie. So therefore, Obama didn't feel no way to come. Matter of fact, matter of fact, um, I warned you from a few days ago about when the picture taking was going to take place. So Portia would have to take, be careful when the picture them might take place, you know, because Lisa Hanna might snuggle up and take some selfie with Obama. Didn't I tell you that Monday or Tuesday? Nothing wrong, it's not a sin, but I wanted that Portia would have to monitor that, and she did have to doctor the picture, because before Portia realized what going on, the picture take with Lisa and a side of Obama snuggle up on him, and him have a man around her waist, and the hand come right around and show you. Know, is the hand come around the waist and I show her front, and him knuckle them white the way, my grip it boy, knuckle them get white, no blood can circulate. And the left hand, there the on Miss, Miss Natalie Nita Henley, but her, her back brother, so him hand couldn't reach back around, you couldn't see the hand in, in back arm. Um, him hand only reach about halfway around her back. And I'm um, resting in some comfortable place around there, you know, some of the, the um, what you call it, the small of the back car, you know, no, in a Natalie Nita Henley. But um, Obama and, and, and um, Lisa, they snuggle up and went Portia. When Portia um, gets sidelined, Portia, we over in a side of the picture. Out, uh, you know, we over one side of the picture out of the center, and Portia quick, quick, go around in the center and join the wall, uh, you know, the indirect free kick wall. Portia come around in the middle of the man and, and join the, the indirect free kick wall and um, take the picture with China in the middle. That time, um, Obama, Obama and Michelle, uh, 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 Lisa, I'll go up see me. But anyway, the only thing missing from the Mandela memorial moment was the, um, the fake sign, um, sign language guy. But Lisa Hannah said afterward that Obama, she was great to be in the presence of Obama because um, he was very cool and it was cool to be around somebody who tempered, who, who balanced power with being down to earth. They are down to earth, although they are powerful. That's showing you now that she wasn't used to being around such person because the people that she was around is not that down to earth. When them powerful, she never says that, you know, but she says it's very cool to be around somebody who know how to balance being powerful and being even tempered and down to earth. And she said it was very cool to be around him. He's a smooth operator. Lisa Hannah says so. Not only that, they exchange telephone numbers. And I, I, I challenge anybody to, to tell me that they did not exchange telephone numbers. Smooth operator. Let's hear from Dinah Washington. Especially like when um, him touch her, you hear your diner say, Oh, cut that out. Listen to Dinah Washington, very good. Smooth operator. Lisa Hanna say, Obama is a smooth operator. Straight. Yes, um, world boss. I mean, I talk about no, uh, no, 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 no cartel, you know. We're not talking about no cartel. World boss with me, meet Miss World, and um, they make change number. I'm telling you, and um, it look like him did ask her for card, and I see she had her card game, and threw it to too much camera upon it. Obama just signal and said, "Get that guy behind me," and she just pass the card, get the guy behind. Her. Secret service, you know, if we keep secrets, you know. You don't understand me, straight up. Welcome back to Straight Up. Indulge me two more minutes, please. Because I have to send greetings to... Birthday greetings to... Uh, I have to send birthday greetings to Mallory Small of North Car uh, South, Car uh, South Carolina. She must smaller than North Carolina. Mallory Small of South Carolina, who is the wife of Alice Small, Air Force One. Mallory Small is Air Force Two, you know. She's Air Force also. Air Force Two. And she's the mother of Marley Small, Air Force Three. Uh, three of them in the Air Force there. Marla, M Marley Small is the daughter. And my granddaughter. So birthday greetings to my daughter, in-law and in love. Mallory Small, her birthday today. Also Air Force Three, Air Force Two, like Ali was. I don't grudge nobody being in the Air Force here now because as Alan just tell me, 
Russia flexing them most like um, them would have go to war and you have to scramble your Air Force plane them and get them up in the air there now Air Force 1, 2, 3, 4, all kind of Air Forces so let's hear it from Mallory Small who helped to make that um, coffee time, you know coffee time some people don't like milk in it but um, it will keep you awake if you don't want to keep awake yeah, you might have some little milk in there if you want to keep awake it might be black coffee but it's coffee time, straight up. And it's um, Natalie Cole, the daughter of Nat King Cole. Coffee time, run me stop. Coffee time, my dreamy friend, it's coffee time. Yes, yeah, enough coffee, enough coffee. Um, that's a Mallory Small. Mother of Marley Small and wife of Alice Small in South Carolina. Straight up. Good morning. Welcome. Straight up. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Your wonderful satirist, that yeah. it, you can put it in a more um, humorous vogue. No, we're just piecing the, the pieces of the puzzle together. You're teasing. You're going out a lot of teasing now. People understand the match with the music, with the talk. Yes, sir. Anyhow. I have to caution you. You seem to be turning over my jigsaw pieces and reading on the need to make your an analysis. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get your fingers smitten. Yeah. Right? What is being offered here to us now, you know, is 30 years late. Yeah. 30 years late. Uh, better never then. Uh, better now than never, but do, do our decision makers know the value of the pieces I have? Whether in the jigsaw or to play on the table? Yeah, well. Do they? We're going to make burning spear address. Eh? We're going to make burning spear address the, the, the matter. Now, see you so well enough. We're going to make the burning spear address the matter. Ah, yeah, well, and we, we, need a, to, and we need a ton of roll. We have got to pick up the pieces of this burning spear. Now, we need a ton of roll as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so roll some ton of there. So wake up those slumbering ones. Notice, notice this is a young time to ask you, though. Yeah, ma, yeah, ma. Because... As a matter of fact, is a young... He probably noticed a lot of dead wood around. Yeah, is a not... Is a young... Is a young stasm open up with it? Yeah, well, they are a few, too. And I, I can, um... I can bet, but I can lose that the bite of the week and the water guan for water guan will be water guan, Jamaica. Uh, you, you see that? And we are down play the value of our local language, our Jamaica language, our Jamaica talk. Yeah, Everybody but, want talking. Greetings to um, Carlin Cooper, the, the voice coach of Obama. I said it? Yeah, uh, yes, and um... And um... You big up, man? Yeah, man. Well... Anyhow, good to have the gentleman around. Um, um, I, I'm looking forward to see what where he puts him position himself when he leaves the presidency. Well, Michelle and Obama, I think Michelle he Obama ought to be able with his foundation to do a, a lot more for yeah. people of our, our origin and descent. Well, uh, Mi Mich himself. Michelle Obama said one of our ambition is to drive in a, in a car again with the windows down. Uh -huh. But I think that they might have for decades to avoid driving in any window down and walking up and down car. Bin be Laden people for the rest of them life, they might hunt them people. Yeah. Oh, I didn't take him out now? That was what gave him the second oh, term. That's what gave him the second term. Yeah, just live in life, man. If, if you have to go early, you have to go early. <laughs> but go, step and do what you have to do. Right? Because you might have a, you might have a short time to do it. Yeah. Preservation of life or long liberty is not necessarily important in terms of making a difference. Yeah. Long run short catch. Mm. Not, 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 not praying for nobody catch him in a... No, no. But, but him, in, him in turn, if him understand long run short catch, he, he will be able to um, uh -huh. walk through the hill drops. Rain, hill drop, yeah. lick hotter than rain drop, you know. Yeah. Well, anyhow, I have to move along. Careful how you, you keep sneaking up your fingers and looking at my... Turning over my pieces and looking at them. All right, sir. But we're, we're in the middle uh, of the. No, I'm to make hot, we're in the middle of the hot war, yes. financial and um, communication. That's the word. Yes. No, I'm not sure I got that one right. Yeah, war. I got to go. Telecommunication war. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome straight up, hello. 
Welcome. Go ahead, please. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. What good, have, good morning, sir. What I have to say, what massive for your, for your answer? What happened to Jamaica? Yeah. What, massive. What, what go on? What go on? Well, I wanted that the Tivoli inquiry is going to be um, renamed Wagwan Tivoli. Yeah. And the first greeting of the um, the, the commissioner will be greetings. No man, Wagwan Jamaica. No man, Wagwan Tivoli. That's the name. Wagwan Tivoli. That's the name of the inquiry. The commissioner will greet them. Say, um, greetings, um, massive. Okay. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Yes, um, Jerry. Why Jerry I drove out to Spanish Town um, last night? Yeah. Got to pick up some goods and so on. Um, boy, when I was coming back up ferry, the man, the road dark, you man. Yeah. Where last you go there? The road dark, no, I'm telling you. Dark, man. I'm telling you like them. No, my light on, still on, the road dark, man. Dark. The lights, no further lights, I'm out on the ferry road. Dark, me and my supper. Boy, I'm here telling you, I'm here buying the lights. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to put some cat eyes in the road there. Eh? I'm telling you, man. Good. I cat eyes. Yes, um, I get that, that, that um, Ben Carson. Yeah. We'll be going up for president, see? On the, on the Republican side. Are you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why I tell you, wrong side though. Should I be the Democrats, man? Why? Hmm? Why? A Republican, you know, so Republican are no good at it. Republican no good, but Democrat good? Yeah. That sounds like, sound like a Jamaican political philosophy. Well, to me, to me, the Democrat... So you, say Jamaica, so you say America is Democrat country? Yeah. Oh, that feels so. like how Jamaica is PNB country. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to vote for that one. No, you but, don't say you're not going to be me in that one. No, so but I'm telling, you that you're, I'm telling you that you're reducing your vision if, if you try to um, frame it that way. Well, democratic government over there more always do a better job to me. Yeah, but Republican. listen here now. What go on in the past don't restrict the present or the future. I'm not taking a side or anything like that, but democratic government. No, you're, you're, no, Americans you're, living over there. No, you're taking the side with your body. And you have a placard in your hands, I mean, not no side. No, man, listen to what I'm saying, man. All I'm saying is that America is over there so that I'm seeing more progress with the Democrats. I, I, I have no, no I do have, America. yes, I do have no side, you know. And Jamaica. Yeah. I do have no side and I couldn't. And we do have no yeah. side, but that's what is that anyway. on the ground. Anyway. That's all I'm saying to you. Yes, anyway, um, mm -hmm. when, a, when a party make a strong impression on you, they just make it. No, but Obama do good in America still, you know. Sure, we know that. Uh, hey, look here now. No leadership is about no one, man. The argument, the argument. No, you hear me now? What did yeah. you say? What did you say? No leadership is for no one, man. No leadership is about any one, man. But a personality will dominate the imagination of most people. But it's an illusion. But I'm, um, yeah. Well, listen to what I'm saying. Even the questions you said that some sort of questions were asked. Yeah. And even the China trade and all that sort of thing and things. So I'm went on with it and so on and uh, questions and so. You man crime and so. Meaning that him is far more capable yeah. and communicating um, better than yeah. the Jamaican so-called political leaders. Exactly. But this is at a very low level. When Jamaican youth are, when you get Jamaican youth to go around against um, some, some youth in Norway and them places, they, they will look great. Yeah. So this is a very low standard to be compared to Baba too. You know? Thank right. you very much. Let call me again later. All right, good. Morning, welcome straight up. Why? Ah, good morning. Yeah. Why it's great to be born black. <laughs> what a fantastic situation. Interestingly enough, you know, this 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 um this president here is very smart and he follows the, the, the politics of the of the Jamaica and the PNP very closely. You know, they must set the stage for a woman um, president take over after I leave, but not necessarily the one that is going to challenge again for the Democratic um, ticket. You might have a black woman where you want to bring out in the open. Well, I'm smart. Anyhow, I'm black. That's why it is, it is, it is not surprising that he is that smart. But Let's go for a break. Yeah. Welcome back to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Yes. Um, another thing, you know, it's, it's um, the visit spoke volumes for our um, intelligent service, you know, the, the, it, it spoke volume. And one of the questions that when he was answering is, is, is um, I want the, 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 the political minds, because some fantastic people in politics, you know, especially in Jamaica, some young men, is to examine the question on Singapore. Because what he's saying, you know, it's time Jamaica look and give themselves a chance in terms of vote, go to the polls and vote. Don't do it like what's happening now. Vote 
a one-party state. Because that is another way you're going to advance even faster. Obama said that he advised you to vote a one-party state. No, 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 I did not say that. Please don't put anything into my mouth. No. Are you candid? I did not. I am saying, when the, my analysis, when he was talking about Singapore, yeah. right? One of the quick way to, to, to advance growth faster. No. Is to, is to, is to, is to vote. Get yourself into position. You know what? Because they remember. No, no, no. You know what? You know one party state. But so, so you just answered that, that and you said no. Hold on. I just asked you that and you said no. No, and but I did. But Obama didn't say that. I am analyzing the whole, um, watching the whole thing. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. No. Mm -hmm. Talking about your carriers to the Far East in Singapore, Obama carried us there. Yeah. And he also said that it's good for China to come in and welcome China into the rest of the world. Yes, well, the would you allow China. me, please? Would you allow me? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Welcome China into the rest of the world. And then, would you allow me or mm -hmm. will you not? Go on, go on, go on, talk. If you do it again one time, there's nothing else I can do. Yes, he did say it is welcoming China into the rest of the world, into development, into investment. But if your leaders are, and representatives are making deal with China, you don't know what is in the deal, and they are making private deal with China, be very, very careful, and something is wrong, young people. He said to the young people, something is wrong if they are making deals with China, you don't know the essence of the deal. And I managed Duncan, who was sitting down behind him, when she realized what he was saying and enlightening with the young people, with her eyebrows shot up to the roof of her forehead. I, I, I know and not like that. I know but you didn't see her. That's why I'm telling you, because I know you didn't yeah, see. I didn't see that. We but have to go now. Thank you, thank you very much. much. No, we really have to go to another call, really. Yeah, we, man, we, 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 well, you. next one. Please, please, please. please. Thank you very much. Nice. Welcome. Hello, morning, Mr. Small. Yes, sir. Welcome. Mr. Small, why, why the president name is called the Beast? Why? No, it's just a nickname to show you how terrible and dreadful it is. I was figuring out that the card is a name. It's very important, to you know. Then, a, then what? A a so what is a donkey? A donkey is what? A donkey is a beast of birth. Exactly so. Okay. Mr. Small, yeah. you know there's nothing Barack Obama said that I have never heard before. No, because he is, is not him. Um, he is not the light of the world and the beginning of all wisdom. Yeah, because what I realize is our paradigm that we, one of our paradigm that we call culture, is not really the message. It's who is the messenger who yeah. they want to hear it from. Yeah. But the Jamaican people better realize that Barack Obama has given the government the order that the IMF program cannot stop. Yeah. And the young people will have to do for themselves. Yeah. Compete or die. Yeah. Second, Mr. Small, Jamaica is now in the most vicious tax cycle in its entire existence since 1962. Yeah, yeah, Obama mentioned to the government, said, don't just be squeezing the people. You remember, he said so, you know? Yeah, I he heard him. Says, I heard every word he said. He said, squeezing Mr. the people alone is not going to work. It's not going to work, but this is just to consolidate the new world order, because when he doesn't wrap up all of these trips, he's going to visit the Pope, you know. Yeah. And then they're going to spin off, because Obama has spoken to the world. So everybody should get a hold of these states, especially Jamaicans over 40, and start straightening up their lives, because there's a lot of legacy, positive legacy that each of us over 40. If them do we it, have to leave in every nook and cranny of our community. If them don't even do it, and if them don't even out over 40, them soon over 40. 40, yes, 40, 40, 40 soon catch them. We are in serious problems, Mr. Small. Take care. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And may your food basket never empty. Might, might be. Thank you very much. Good, good morning and welcome to Seattle. Hello. Oh, good morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, welcome. You know, I'm all in here, I'm all in here, you know. Because you won't listen. Um, so, oh, 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 morning, sir. And I really endorse what that gentleman said a while ago, um, about the food basket. We always wish that people will always have things to share, you know, because the more we share... Oh, you want to share? Oh, yeah. I say, oh you, you want my basket full that I can't get for share some of you? No, okay. we share a lot with other people. Yeah, yes, I, 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 are you one of the people who put on some heavy departure tax for Obama? No, look, listen to me now. Yeah, yeah, you, you're not stop begging. Wonderful visit. Yes, man, you get you some. Know, and you I, get I, some I departure tax. 
You get some departure tax out of him. I appreciate um, the way Obama, um, you know, conduct himself, um, the questions, the answers and things, you know. You know, it, it, it was very, very enlightening. Yeah. And, you know, I do hope that um, he says he'll be coming back, you know. And might be, next time he'll, come, he'll be coming on a vacation. Yeah. You know, in my, in my, in my um, in, in wife, and in my, in my family. Yeah. Which will be very good. Yeah. That's more like I'm talking about two things very differently. Yeah. The first thing, um, I'm sure that um, the roads that were, really, um, were, were done during the time the, um, that coincides with, um, with Obama coming, yeah. that um, they are still here, don't they? They have been rolled up if, and if gone. The roads are still here? The roads are still there. Yeah. Okay, and we Jamaicans are going to drive on that road. We're going to enjoy the comfort of driving on those roads. Yeah. So you see, that work program was announced a um, couple of months ago before even Obama um, village was announced. So, yeah, because you know, they, would, they wouldn't announce it, so they, they keep that uh, one up them sleeve. You see, you see, Maya Pick, Maya Pick people, yeah. the vision, you know, they, they're not a vision. Yeah. And, you know, when they don't have the vision, you know, they finish and perish. Yes, and so therefore, mm -hmm. what really happened is that his campaign financing um, pay for the, the road. Well, it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah, the roads are there for us to drive on. Yeah, they're not campaign financing. That's what I mean. The next battle comes so small. Mm. You see, the energy. We have been battling with energy thing. You know, it, it, this is one of the two one of the main points I think come out of this um this visit. This uh, renewal of the, the LNG plant, you know, great going. I do hope that this time it will be a reality, you know, and not because the Jamaican people have been long suffering with going to energy. And you know, I had, I had an argument with, with a teacher yesterday, and. It was telling that um, they were offered 5% by the government, you know, the rate. You know, and I look at it and say, boy, you know, that's very, that's a very um, small, small percentage. Yeah, we're not, 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 we First, plenty things. First thing, though. What kind of smooth operator that? What do you mean? I want a more modern smooth operator by Shade. Not Shade Walton, you know, but Shade Adu. Shade, you mean? Shade. Mm. Yeah. No, man, um, me like um, the jazz version. Well, well all right. You, you at, least, at least I like it like that also. No, sir, I'm not sure. Sir. You With don't know, I'm Shade. telling you. Yeah, no, Lisa like it like that. Please, no, no, you, you, no, that is not, no, that's not Dino that's, 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 um, original, um, not, not, it's not, um, uh, Natalie Cole, it's Dino Washington, and that's, that's the real great rendition. But, me. Yeah. Like my shadow. No, no, no. like our, the first music. No, well, then, uh, that, um, you identify with it because, uh, yes, I understand. Operator. Yeah, yeah. Great, great visit. Heal, heal, no. Greetings straight up massive. Then you true. Wagwan. Wagwan. news talk. Yes. Big up you. Eh. So, so, the, so the Obama Big is... Big up you. Eh. So you know say Obama is the news in Patwa. Yeah, because look here. Mm. BBC played that the whole night. Eh? Get a my, my, my man to come interpret where, where, where was one at a time. Yeah. The man I call in the man for read the sport you know, here. What go on in the sport? Then my boy, they will pick up that yet. Yeah. You don't know what it means, what is the latest? Yeah. Horse dead and too fat. Yeah. Too fat. Listen, you know, and remember saying, you know, hobby, hobby, no want it. Yeah. Because Britain did have, um, up to now, claims that them still have Jamaica. Governor General in a King's House to represent Queen and dare not talk pat over a microphone. You know? You know, so there's something wrong with them. The Governor the General dare not talk pat as Governor General. People are talking about what the purpose of the visit. Them in a the street. Famous seven words. Yeah. Three things massive. Yeah. Wagwan, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Big up you. Yeah, man, big up you. That, 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 believe me, I said. BBC ribbit that the whole If you, you want to talk about Patwa, hmm? BBC want to get the Patwa version of BBC. You know what I mean? <laughs> that they would have played all night. Yeah. Can we share to them? 
Yeah, man, because look here. Yeah. And like out here where you can't even talk, you, you know, say from BBC, yeah. you can't talk some things, you know, you have more freedom. Oh, say, yes, yes. Language. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Them in a year all run it with talk all some plain, plain word with them. I charge people bad with them just talk it plain and nobody can do, you know. Great visit, because look here, I, I, oh, me here, you have to cut off one dude. Mm -hmm. You know, one dude. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, well, I wanna, at, the, at the end of the program. I wanna be. Yeah, we are come to about Rasta. Yeah. So if tourists come to Jamaica to Rasta, the great president, uh, yes. world bar. Yes, and contrary to what um, Magic Jack was saying, yeah. I always emphasize to anybody I'm reasoning with that my family Rastafara is not superior to anyone else and not superior to any other family. Oh, and, yet, and, yet he, hold on, and yet he's trying to tie me up in a bag with, um, with balance or Rastafari bridging who have other views, but, but and not no problem to me. But he's trying to fry me in balance, fat, and, and vice versa. It, yeah, can't, fact, yeah, fact. it can't happen. When World Boss comes, the first place where World Boss go visit is Rasta. Yeah. And, then and, world, and when I say World Boss, I don't mean I'm a, I'm a boss of a world, but not over me. We have to go to the ten AM headline news straight up. Good morning with the latest headlines. I'm Kayla Wright. Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller has headed to Panama City to lead Jamaica's delegation for the seventh summit of the Americas, which is being held today and tomorrow. The theme of the seventh summit is prosperity with equity, the challenge of cooperation in the Americas. At summits of the Americas, heads of state and government of the member states of the Western Hemisphere discuss common policy issues, affirm shared values, and commit to concerted actions at the national and regional level to address continuing and new challenges faced by countries in the Americas. While the Prime Minister is on official duties in Panama, Robert Pickersgill will be in charge of the government. Eleven trade unions which fall under the umbrella of the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions will resume negotiations with the government today at the Ministry of Finance and Planning. The parties last met on March 26 when the unions rejected a salary increase offer of 3% in the first year and an additional 2% in the second year of a new two-year agreement. The unions have claimed a 30% increase over the two years plus retention of the one-off payment introduced in 2012 to spur agreement on a wage free which was part of the previous contract that expired on March 31. And former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is to announce she is running for president on Sunday. Clinton is expected to make the announcement on social media. The 67-year-old will then travel to Iowa and New Hampshire. The former First Lady previously ran for president in 2008 and is already considered a strong contender for the Democratic presidential nomination. Clinton is expected to release a video outlining her campaign themes, but she says she will put off a large formal speech. And those are the stories making the latest headlines. News next at 11 o'clock. Stay tuned. Straight Up with Jerry Small continues. I'm Kayla Wright. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm going to read some text messages and then we have some calls. First one. Jerry, last night on the internet, Chronic said Obama is a waste man and called Jamaicans a race of good for nothing. I wonder in what context him says. Anybody know about what Chronix was saying on internet? Can tell me more because um, this is not enough for me to get an understanding. Or for what reason him say Obama is a waste man and Jamaica is a race of good for nothing. Could could I hear more about this, please? Next one. Boy, oh boy, it seems like you let the Obama fever catch you. Me make Obama fever catch you. Catch me? I've been explaining to you in my view what value Obama visit is for Portia Simpson Miller who invite him here and what coaching him giving her. She invited him here specifically to help her out and she was wondering if him not going to come before she ready to campaign or if him not going to come before him leave the presidency and he did come before and the difference about him dealing with things how she dealing with things how she advised him. I'm showing you what is the value of the trip to him, to her are you telling me that Obama fever catch me? You don't know me good, man. 
Yeah, but it's not a sin not to know me good enough. You don't know me good. Next one. Jerry, watch your mouth. Mind you get people and yourself in a trouble. Explain some more. Explain some more. And challenge something what me say. Yes, I can be wrong, but you must challenge something what me say. Go on. Welcome it. Welcome it. Don't feel no way at all. Next one. Jerry, man, Jerry, your preamble on the visit of President of uh, Obama have me cracking up, Errol Hobson. Well, yeah, man, we have to enjoy um, our life and our work and enjoy communicating with one another. And some of the things we say is serious, but we say it with a sense of humor. And some of the things we say is humorous, and we say it not taking ourselves too serious and so on and so forth. Next one. Good morning, Jerry. Did you get to confirm the man in the yellow hat that was on TVJ News the other night? It was one got. No, I don't. I never see it. I never see it again. And I never really asked nobody about it. And if anybody saw it, and it was him, the person with them called John, sooner or later somebody will call in and say, yes, it's him, if them know him, and so on and so on, you know. But thank you very much for the, um, for the caution. Next one. Jerry, why didn't you use your opening minutes more productive? Me had, my head hurt me about the foolishness you had talked about. I went outside and come back and you were on this Lisa drama. Use the airtime more productive, man. Now, maybe you are able to coach me to, to do my work better, you know. And maybe not. Maybe you are able to coach me to do my work better. And maybe not. I would say I was left by my parents because I went in the bathroom when them, when them, them board the plane. It's really I left your old youth and I run away from my children's home or place of safety in Jamaica. I don't know I'm reach the airport. I left me old youth. He make up the story, manage to read the airport, him fool a lot of the people, and so on. And um, it's not surprising. Maybe he was running away from problems at the children's home. Maybe they were taking good care of him. Either way, maybe he was running from problems there. Maybe they was taking best care of him, we don't know. But uh, you better get used to it that um, even a 8-year-old youth, 11-year-old youth, will be able to cook up such a story. And then now the doctor, the, a conductor, a, a, um, supposedly a conductor on some bus, has been arrested in the, in the fetus murder. It's the usual fetus murder going to St. Thomas, killing women and killing the baby inside of them. The fetus murder, not this time of the yellow big woman, for bad word cursing, but the fetus murder of a 14-year-old girl for being pregnant, most likely for being pregnant. A conductor has been arrested for it. It's not surprising. He's not been tried yet. We don't know if he's guilty. But it's not surprising for a doctor to be arrested for that. A lot of them give doctor a bad name because a lot of guys out there doing doctor work and doing driving work and doing other work too, talk show work and judge work and all kind of work, are seducing young girls and putting them in trouble and them try to put them out of the way. But a lot of doctor giving other doctor a bad name and a lot of driver. Because a lot of girl, young girls benefit from getting transport to school free and therefore are open to all kind of um, abuse. It's not surprising, but we're not judging this guy before the time, but it's not surprising that he's a doctor. A lot of doctor gain other doctor bad name, a lot of driver gain other driver bad name, a lot of human being giving other human being bad name. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Welcome. Morning, Jerry. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Two things. Yeah. Um, RJR. Yeah. Don't it was owned by the BBC once upon a time? Or have some owned by BBC. I don't know. Yes, or when Brian Austin and all those guys used to come here and work at RJR. Yeah. That time was... RGR and Radio Fusion or something. Well, Radio Redi Fusion, Redi Fusion, Redi yeah. Fusion, I believe is a subsidiary or used to be a subsidiary of BBC, I think so. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. You remember that all-female Russian band that played in the church while, uh, Russian Orthodox church while the service was going on and they were all arrested? Oh, you mean, um, Pussy Galore? Yes, yes. Well, there is, particularly RJR, we can call that the name. Mm. And no, no time them report the news and never use the word where you use a while ago. While BBC, every time them news cast come, that was the word them use. Yeah. The riot. Yeah. Or oh, Pussy Riot, not yeah. Pussy Galore. Pussy Galore is a lady in, in a James Bond movie. Yes. 
I forget what the name of the movie. Um, I think, I think it's that. kind of coaching yeah. that the Marjors reports I get. But you hear the latest for them. All, the kind, of, all kind of food. What, what? The one man called in and say, Marjor full up a, a green or tree slot is green. Uh, tree slot is green meaning what? Clive Mullins. Tree slot of what? Tree slot of the talk show. The talk show program. Yeah, Clive Mullins, yes. And uh, they, they mentioned Dr. Taylor. Yes. And now Emily Crooks Shields. Emily Crooks. Shields. You know, no, no, hear this now. It is ridiculous to refer to Dr. Orville Taylor as being green or... or no, would you allow, would you allow me, please? No, with all respect, all respect. Mm -hmm. all, with all respect. Yes. It is ridiculous and um, desperate yeah. to refer to Dr. Orville Taylor as being green. green. Would you allow me, please? You don't put no word in my mouth. Just allow me, no man. It is ridiculous and desperate for anyone to seriously refer to Dr. Avil Taylor as being green or labor right. Emily Crooks, I don't know why anybody would refer to Emily Crooks as being labor right either. And she's now known as um, Emily Shields. She has, she has got married and apparently she wants to assume the name Shields. I think it's ridiculous. But people have them up to me now. Maybe them know more than me or you. Yes, no doubt. What do you think? I agree with you. That no, what? That what? That what? Than, that what? More than me? You agree with me? That what? They don't know. The who are saying it no more than you are me. Oh, you agree with that part? Yes. But you don't. What you think about the other part? of what I say? The other part of what you say? Yeah. You say ridiculous, you know? Yes. And desperate? Yes. Well, I'm not going to agree. With that. I know you don't agree with it, and that's why you brought it up. Yes. Um, you brought it up because you don't agree with me. No, you, I didn't know that you were going to. Put those adjectives on it. I know you didn't. Yes. But you, and you, you brought it up because yes. you... Well, I know. You brought it up because it seemed... It seemed like something sensible when you heard people say that Ardia have three green slots. No, Jerry. No, Jerry. I mean, uh, no, my... Yeah, yeah. just a repeat what... No, what you're doing is not a crime or a sin, you know. Jerry, when no, Wilson no. call you and yes. tell you this and fuck yes, call yes. you and say this and say, you know, you know, ascribe any no, motive but, to them. No, sir. no, no motive. I'm only saying, um, I'm only saying that the news did sound newsworthy to you, that news. <laughs> I'm here, you bridge, you know, we're not quiet, you know. Good morning, take care. Thank you very much. But it's on Vex, I'll do it. Good morning. Bro. Morning and welcome to Stretch Up, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you there? Oh, walk on, Jerry. Fine, thank you, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm good. Oh, oh, what massive? <laughs> oh, what my pretty, um, pretty freckle face, massive? Listen, big up to the straight up, massive. May I tell you about it? Let me tell you. It's not very easy to get to talk to you these days. Yeah? Mister, the traffic on your show is so heavy. You see, I've been traveling a bubble, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand me. Oh, oh, of course. Yes. That's what the Minister of Information says. Yes. That's the traveling above. Yes, yes. And uh, because now I am um, enjoying the whole Obama skillfulness <laughs> and communication, some people say I'm getting caught in the Obama fever. Uh, you know? You, you, put, you, check your, you check under your chin if you're all right. Oh, you mean if me, 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 yes. yeah, say me temperature. Yeah, you check. The temperature, yes, yes. You check. Are you know so when you eat too much green mango? <laughs> You can't get fever, you know. You know, that, that is why in India, you know, before they eat mangoes, really, yeah. they put them in water. Oh, yeah? Cool them down, yeah, because... Yes, mango really retain mango heat. Mango makes you hot. Make you retain heat, it's true. Yes, man. Because a lot of, when you eat the mango, it goes in your stomach, you know. Mm -hmm. The activity and the combustion and the acid and thing, it, mm -hmm. it really generates a lot of heat. Yeah, man, and generate other things, too. Yes, get, well, mm -hmm. some people, the gas pass them, you know, and gone. And some people pass gas out. Yes, and I think with all that fiber and heat, it, yes, you yeah. have a lot of movement. Yes, yes, no, and fiber, yes, as I said, the fiber. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Jerry, you know, I'm enjoying your um, show. Yes, nice. Uh, yeah, and I think, I mean, I know you're very talented. Yeah. But um, you just show me that you can write a script for a play. Well, but if you ever know how much you're saying, there. Yes, I'm saying a lot. I've been really listening. I mean, people might have all kind of takes on it, but... You know, I like when these things are scripted. Even look if they're up. just look um, free, free fall. Yeah, you should I'll get show, I'll show somebody. I'll show somebody something right away. No, look, the last word there. 
I have to show somebody right away. As I was writing the word scripted, scripted to describe what what I thought you were summing up. You uttered the very same word. And uh -huh. and, and you, it's the second time since you start talking. You, you put your the, uh, you put your finger on the nail, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to tell the people which nail you put your, your, your well, head. Which I put which my nail? finger on the pulse. Yes, ma'am. And you took the temperature. Yes. Let me tell you something. This has been a very interesting visit, yeah, yeah. and you know, <laughs> I was really amused when Mr. Obama was pontificating about, you know, when we accept gifts and yeah, yeah. we don't know. Then him catch up himself again. No, he yeah, has yeah. daughters who really um, hit hard, you know. Yeah. He said, "Well, we do it too sometimes." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and them no partial. No, cause Not you know. Um, yeah, everybody's fighting for turf here. Yeah, yeah. And he just made it very clear that this is his backyard. Yes, yes. Yes, so people can't come from so far and no. uh, dominate. Yeah, I you know say all the people are fight for, 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 for get your island and get in the program, you know? Of course, me know. Jealous, <laughs> jealous. jealous. Yeah, bad man not going to kill them. Bad man will kill them. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, yeah. And if they never know how long I wait. Yes, articulate my heart, man. All right, Jerry. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Welcome. Straight up, hello. Welcome. Go ahead, please. Are you there? Next one. Well, give me some um, numbers, please, because dead ears don't work with radio. All right, hello. let's go, let's go to it. Good morning. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back, sir. Well, well yes, yes. Yeah. Um, just to get another our look at the piece. Yeah. yeah. We need to address ourselves on the Monroe Doctrine. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? It, it's a couple hundred years old, I believe, but... It, yeah, get a, get away from, from the radio. Get, know, the 21st, yeah, but 21st move, century Monroe Doctrine. Yeah, man, move away from the radio for me, please. please. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry about that. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, leaving. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Monroe Doctrine. Let me hang up. Let me hang up. Sorry about that. Phone. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning. What's going sir? Not much. Yeah. Yeah, man. But Jerry, yeah. Italian son are recognized in this country, you know? Not widely. Because, look at Emily. Look how brilliant Emily is. And they go to tar, they go to look at her you now in, in the color of green. And Dr. Arville Taylor. Yeah. yeah. Why not look at their talents? No, but if, no, no. If, if somebody said that they are green, let us look at them then. Look at them. What, what, um, is it, is, is that the impression you get? Is the impression I get? Yeah. The impression I get is that they are imputing tribal, political tribalism. Yeah. That's the impression I get, instead of looking at their talent. Yeah. Yeah, them, them see the setback Jamaica, you know? Um... Big setback to Jamaica. They don't recognize yes, talent I, in this I, country. I, I, I am. I, I, I try to listen to most of the, discuss, the discussion programs on the air, whether TV or radio in Jamaica, for, for the last several decades. Mm-hmm. I don't, I never formed that impression of either Emily Crooks or, um, or, or the Dr. Taylor. I never formed that impression. But I don't look at them in that context. We, they, they are the same thing. I don't look at them in that. They, 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 they impress me. They impress me because of their talent. Yes, but uh, they, can, they can be talented and impressive and also be pro-labor. But... Uh, well, Anna, mm -hmm. They can be talented and impressive and also be pro-one party. Mm-hmm. I personally never see them that way there. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, one of them I would see, I would see them more um, opposite that more than um, pro that. Mm -hmm. But you know, but they can be pro anybody, um, anybody because they are not safe to pay in a jail, Jerry. Yeah, but no, I wouldn't even defend them that way because what was being said about them is not a charge. It's just a, it's a criticism, and, and uh, the people who criticize him that way are free to criticize him. I wouldn't even take it as seriously as to go start defend them that way. No, but not I really. Just, I want to just, no, I'm just going halfway to say I never get that impression. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not defending them, say, boy, them can be that, or I don't, you know. I just that say, is I, neither here nor there to Yes, me. I, I never get that impression. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't, Jerry, yeah. um, oh, don't every country have its native language? No. Not every country has a native language? No, no. Do we have a native language? Um, no. We don't have? No. When I say native language, um, the, the language... National, the national language, man. No, national and native is two different things. Eh? National and native is two different things. All right, we do we have a national language? 
Um, I would say that um, Jamaican Patwa is the national language of Jamaica, yes. And, and the official language is English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why we have taken uh, this date will approach um, to, our, to, our, to our local language? Because our local we, language is about, have, about have, our history. Hold on, we have taken that approach. Some I'm, people, some people. Oh, oh. Boy, Anata, we are, not, are you one of those people? No. I am not one of those people. You are not, and yet you're saying we. But, Jerry, to be disdainful of one national language, that means uh, you don't recognize your history, you don't recognize where you're coming from. I agree, but I also know that it is um, more useful to allow people to be this this tasteful more than try to force them to be proud and so on mm -hmm. you know yeah just like how you try i don't think it's useful to try to force people to pass exam no what, what they will do they will squat they will um they will swat and cram and get the right answers and pass the exam and get a phd and still don't know nothing at all i don't yes. think I don't, right. I don't think it's good to try to force people right in terms of knowledge right you know yeah um Jerry, yeah. uh, um, Obama visit to, to Bob Marley Museum. Yeah. You know what that do to me? What? It reinforced my conviction you know, that that um, that brand Jamaica has been long ago established by Bob Marley. Not only by him. No, no, no I, I supplemented by, by our athletes and yeah. the other artists. Uh, the Jamaica brand been going on before Jamaica recognizes anyway. Real strong. Mm -hmm. Really strong from before Jamaica recognizes that. As an independent country, but you're you're right that it's it reinforced. But it's a long time, long, long time it's been going on. Matter of fact, Jamaica brand mm -hmm. is older than the United States of America. Yeah, the yeah. The United yeah. States of America was born in in 1776, mm -hmm. and it, the brand of Jamaica is much older than that. Mm -hmm. Much. Yeah. Yeah. Even, so when, even though even though it's a pirate brand. Yeah, I like how you put it because if I hear enough argument that the boy yeah. Obama see the top brand yeah, Jamaica, yeah, which to be foolish. Yes, man. Some of the people behind now we have some guests. Here's about very useful. Thank you. Okay, yeah, man. Morning, welcome. Straight up. Morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good day again. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Why? I, I don't know why all this this trying to paint Mrs. Um, Shields. Um, you know. Green. This, yes, green for. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm Mr. Taylor for that matter. Yeah. But those people are too intellectual people and them just start the thing as it's going on. Yeah. Well, yeah, listen here now. I listen to both people, yes. Yeah, sir. listen here now. Yes. Every day and sometimes every other call, some days every other call and every other text message try yes. to paint me in opposite party colors. It's yes. A, I couldn't care less. I paint you orange or green. Yes, yes I couldn't care less. Well, and I, I couldn't and care and less and neither. And I know them can't paint me in either. Yes, Why, Jerry? Yes, and I'm not, yes. um, I can't spend too much time. No. No, you don't know what I said. Please let me finish this. <laughs> We can't spend <laughs> yeah, man, we can't spend too much time yes. advertising our competitors. Exactly. But I will defend the right yes. of human beings and yes. also the right to competition. But yes. we're, not, we're not going to dwell upon that too long. No, we're not going to dwell on them things next too point, long. Next point. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um this this argument about what um Connix is saying, I would like you to get it a good um, All right, information. I, I have a little information here. Yeah, a little information. I hear that he posted a picture of Marcus Garvey. Yes. And he said this man Marcus Garvey still have a criminal record in the United States. Yes. And we glorifying some waste man. No I, I advise people all the while, yes. don't include yourself in the phrase we yes. if you are not in that. No. It will even get you angry when you don't do nothing. So he is getting angry with the people who glorify some waste man. Yes. And yet he is not glorifying the waste man. But if you include yourself, you're going to feel vexed. Like exactly. I'm going to read it back again. Chronic posts a picture of Marcus Garvey and, 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 and is, is said to have written these words. Yes. This man, Marcus Garvey, still have a criminal record in the United States and we glorify some waste man. Okay. This man was hunted and imprisoned by our Jamaican government who some years later paved a peaceful and safe path for the U.S. government, the U.S. president, to address us. Yes. A race of good for nothings in, 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 in quotation marks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you think about that statement? As I said, if you include yourself yes. in people yes. who, you don't, who you don't agree with, yes. you are going to be in a self-conflict and you're going to get angry. True. You're going to get depressed about things that you don't even do, like what most people suffering from depression. Exactly. Blaming themselves for things that they are not guilty of. Yes. And if people are blaming themselves for things that they are not guilty of, I'm not surprised that they get depressed. If you are, if you want to go a lie down in the road and say, boy, every 73 bus must run over you. Yes. 
You're going to feel bad. Why must okay. every 73 bus run over you? So I'm not going to surprise if you feel bad if you want 73 bus to run unnecessarily. Right. Don't okay. take on things that is not you. You're going to feel bad. Exactly. That's why it, it means to, to, to the thing you take TMT and JLT off of your mind entirely. Uh, there cannot Good. be on neither me nor my no. mind. And I will, uh, I will not have no unprotected sex with somebody who I know is going to give me some... Uh, if you take up that, you're going to get shot. Yes, you exonerate going, yourself from you, it. Yeah, you're going to pick up a tack. Yes. And then you're balling about your tack pick you up. Exactly. Some people put themselves careless. You know, Jerry, I'm not talking yeah, about yeah, that answer. Yeah, yes, we're not talking about that. the same thing you're saying. We're not vexed with chronics, but... Exactly, uh, that's what condoms make fire now. Yes, sir, thank you very much. Next good. one. Uh, Next one. Good morning. Welcome straight up. Hello. Morning. Mr. Small, good morning again. Yes, sir. I was listening to one of your read, broad, read broadcasts on Tuesday. Yeah. And I, I hear you yeah. say that Professor Bain lost the case. Yeah. But there's no judgment on the case as yet, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. The judgment is still being considered. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, respect, yeah. Thank you very much. Well, all right. We're going to go to... We're going to go to a break. No, we're, no, we have another call. We have another call. We have another call. We have another call. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Go ahead, please. Hello? Yes, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Morning. I was just <laughs> I was just looking at Facebook and I had the information in regards to what Connex said. Yeah, but make a comment then. No? Yeah, yes, but in addition to that he went on afterwards to, and he made another post where he said that um he's not afraid of judgment of this world and that he was born to pray for whatever. Born to and what? He was born prepared for whatever. Okay, okay. He went on to say that he wakes up in the morning, tomorrow, and nobody on this planet listens to my music anymore. Nobody wants to buy a ticket to see Chronix. Yeah. I will rest comfortable on the neighbor's show that Chronix is not all there is. Yeah. And he says that he said what he said because he, whatever resonates with a person and he, and that person believes it's the truth, yeah. he has no problem in saying it. And he's not ashamed and people should not be ashamed of what they believe and how they view things. Yeah. But in truth and in fact, it, it, it's probably the most trending thing on social media yeah. in Jamaica, separate and apart from the Obama bill. Yeah. And I think that it may affect him because on his page, a lot of people are, are really hitting out against him. And, uh, you know what I mean, saying that he's calling Jamaica well, worthless and well, he's uh, calling the okay. president. Well, uh, what? well what, what happened is that, um, what is if the, the, the sum total of the result? The result is that after Obama... Chronics is the next um, trending thing. So people say that any kind of publicity, even bad publicity, is still good. So he succeeded in how us discussing him and probably getting to your point of view more. He has scored. Yes. So him is the next him is the next thing after Obama. Yeah. But but yeah man. Thank yes, you. But in truth and in fact though, um it it, it, it was his comment I believe was somewhat harsh. Yeah. I mean, because sometimes you have a view, but the way you put it and the way you say it, it comes over a particular way. Yeah. And we understand what he's trying to say. Yeah, here it is now. You know what I mean? But, here you know, here, here, sometimes here. you can put it in a way where it is yeah. may not come over a particular yes, way. But, and the but, message is still pointing yeah, out there. Yeah, but here it is now. I can't put words in your mouth, and I don't want anybody to put words in my mouth. And... I don't see anything wrong with him saying Obama is a waste man. But when him say we glorifying some waste man, when you're including yourself in a derogatory statement, you're not going to feel good about yourself. So when him is saying we glorifying some waste man, he must know if he might glorify Obama. Yes, That's why all the while, all while when me um, dispute with people about if them really mean we, people think I just pity, um, um, splitting hairs. But I tell you, it does have an effect on you when you include yourself in thing uh, in an unwarranted way you're going to feel bad because okay. you're, you're going to feel bad so you know yeah but thank, you, th thank you very much let's go for a break okay, good. welcome back to straight up i'm your host zero small now we have some um we have some guests here now we have two guests here now because um they're coming here from the macam Child Care and Development Center. The Macam Child Care and Development Center is one of those schools. There are several schools inside of the Hope, Hope Estate grounds, they're not beside Hope Gardens, between Papina and Hope Gardens. Several schools there that pay attention to the needs of, special needs of um, children who are deaf, dumb, 
mentally challenged and all kind of different things about three or four schools and there's also the poppy in school in the same year so, and there's you tech just beside them so there's a lot of school a lot of schools in that little cluster Macam, the Macam um, child care center is in there and they're going to have a benefit concert a concert to raise money that will benefit that institution the Macam child care and development center so we're going to welcome dr paul pauline watson campbell who is the executive director we're going to welcome also ernest smith um one of our foremost artists and who is one of the um, performers on the benefit concert good morning welcome good morning good morning Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That is Dr. Pauline Watson Campbell. Yes. <coughs> and, you, and you heard in the back, in the back up, the base in the base, the, the base there was Dr. Uh, Dr. <laughs> the Honorable Ernest Smith. <laughs> <laughs> How you do? Fine, thank you, sir. No, Miss Doc, um, Dr. Pauline Watson Campbell. Yes, um, you're going to put on this concert at Jamaica College Auditorium, the, the Carl Hendricks Auditorium at Jamaica College. That's right. That's next, right. Almost yes. next door. That's right. When right it, when, when, it when, looks when, like you know the area very well. I mean, are we, are we help to build up Jamaica College, ma'am? Oh, okay. ja Jamaica College is the counterpart of York Castle High School in St. Okay. Both of them. All right. Both, well, clearly we are in line. Yeah, oh. both, of, both of them originate in St. Anne. Yeah. And, uh, one name JC and one name YC. There you go. Yes, my man. Uh, one of the greatest performances of Ernest Smith I um I ever witnessed took place at Jamaica College before the auditorium was built. And it, you know, him, him, can you can imagine him and Pluto Shervington on stage together. Oh wow! Yes. Yeah. But, <laughs> but what date will this be, ma'am? This is on Sunday. At six o'clock we have cocktails. At seven o'clock we the show begins. You have the cocktails at six. Right. And at seven the show begins. That's right. And um, Ernest Smith will headline. That's right. <laughs> Not necessarily. No. Isn't well, Marna he going to be there? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, he'll be with a uh, um, quite a you know combination of artists. That I mean, this is going to be a wow concert because they have these. You know, really talented artists all together. Yes. It's going to be another JC phenomenon. Yes, yes. Yes. It's going to be a band put together by Daisy Jones. Yeah. So you know, you know that, go. That go, yeah, you know that go, that's a top, top flight. Yeah, man. And um, the Jam I, th I thank you for keeping it there because the Jamaica College Auditorium is, is, has become one of the venues of choice. That's right. For entertainment, fundraising, Launches and all that kind of thing. Right. Oh yeah. Yes, Ernest. So you will you you will be by, by the band, but you of course. you will also be playing your instrument. No. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> the fingers getting old. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now tell me something. I went to preempt. I don't want to let them tell any tales out of school, especially yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. You, you have any Obama tune ready yet? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Why any, no, no any, anything can because I've, that's I've been kind, I've been very busy. Anything can because that's the kind of people we are. That's the kind of yes. people we are. Yes. All right. Yes. I've been working on a song and engine for the economic reform program. Oh, working yes. with the Minister of Finance. Okay, okay. You know. Okay. You know. That's so, good. Um, and I, I, I'll be gone to Brazil in July, oh, yeah. Canada in August, Atlanta in September, yeah. 17th birth, oh, wow. 70th birthday, May 1. Who for 70th birthday? My, my birthday. I joke, yeah, Mick. <laughs> yeah. So what, 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 what month is that? First of May. Okay, so you know, so you're born in the last days of the World War Two. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> last days, last week. The last yeah. week of World War Two. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yes, Doc, um, can you tell us some more of the, the lineup? Okay, well, as you heard from Ernie, we have uh, Myrna Higg. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she's a phenomenal person herself. Yeah. And then we have um, John Williams. Yeah. Um, we have um, Andre Campbell. Yeah. We can, have the immaculate hello, hello. reception. John Williams, can you tell me what kind of performance and, and uh, what kind of... 
I think he's doing his violin, he's using. Yes, yes. And the next right. person? And Andre Campbell is on piano. Yes, next one. Right. And then we have the Immaculate Conception Steel Band. So it's quite a mixture, yeah, you yeah. know. And um, we have the Cary Folk Singers as well. They have decided to do something yeah. for us in it. But, um, and then I'm trying to think if who else have left out. Yeah. Um, no, because I think Ernie mentioned Desi Jones and so before. Yeah. Right? Cary so, Folk. Um, right. Tell me something, what will be the price of, of support? All right, the tickets are two five. Yeah. Right, and I mean for that lineup, that is like a giveaway. Yeah. It's gonna be. Uh, um, the tickets are going to be available there at the venue, but we have them now being sold at the um, music mart. Yeah. And of course, Matam today is the last day at Matam, so so you know if people want tomorrow, yeah. they could get it from music mart. Now, could you tell us what kind of care? Macam Child Care Center provides? All right. Well, you started already saying that we are in that district with many different schools. Yeah. But Macam is the early childhood side, the, you yeah. know, the composition of schools in there. Yeah. So we have, yes, we are early childhood, so we are from, you know, going up to age seven or so. We have um, an inclusive environment. So Macam was really the first early childhood program to be, in, in, to be inclusive in Jamaica. We started 29 years ago. Inclus so we, inclusive of who or, or what? All right. Inclusion meaning that we have children with developmental disabilities, yeah. like um, children with autism. Yeah. Um, we have children with ADHD, Down syndrome. Yeah. And these children are in an environment learning together with their peers yeah. who are typically developing. Yeah, so that in itself, you know, is... Um, Lear learning, learning together with peers who are developing ordinarily? Yes. Oh. That's right. Okay. That no. is the true idea of inclusion. Yes. So they are in the same classes, yes. so, doing the same activities. Well, I I got the benefit of five of my children attending a school which was populated by people with physical handicaps, deliberate, right. deliberately mixed with people of no physical handicaps, so that each set of people could get used to one another. It was named the Hope Valley Experimental. Yes, I know about Hope Valley. And, um, it was a great, ex great experiment still going on, and uh, my children yeah. benefit from it. And yes, um, the, the, the Macam, does the Cam, does the Mac, the Cam come from the, your name, Campbell? Yes. Um, well, we started the program, a friend and mine, uh, of mine and I, um, as I said, 29 years ago, but she didn't really continue in it. So um, I, start, I really started off on my own, uh, but we made it a not-for-profit organization, um, yeah. well, about three, four years after we started. Yeah. That is with my husband backing me, because yeah. he realized that it was not going to be the kind of program that you could make money from. Yeah, no, but no, the it Mac... it's a very expensive program to run. So the Mac part of the name, where did that come from? That was a Mac Norton. Who is, so, who is Matt Norton? just continued with it. Because, who is, who is you know, Matt Norton? Pardon me? Who is Matt Norton? It was a Bev Matt Norton. So oh. she was, yes. Okay, she okay. She was a physical okay. therapist okay. and an occupational therapist. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. So that is the concert. Is how much to go in again? Two five. Two thousand five hundred. And you can yes. get the tickets at where? At the um, Music Mart. Music Mart. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, I remember that they can be also had at the door. At the door. You can come yes. here and get it at the door tonight. Come straight there. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And I thank Ernest Smith for... Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Yeah, right. thank, you for thank, you <laughs> thank you for always supporting these causes with your right. talent. And um, and also the, the, pro, the program to support the, uh, whatever economic effort, um, you know, community effort that um, the, yeah. mini the ministry is asking you to help with Ernie. Yes. I'm also going to ask you here, public on the air, so to give me permission once again to use some more of your music in, in my promo for my program, Straight Up. Oh, Straight Up, Straight Up, no no problem. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I just did a single with Jen Myers and working on a comp compilation with Jesse Royal. Yeah. And you don't mind us using that little clip a little while, so Straight Up, Straight Up, no problem. No problem, <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I'm a, brown, I'm a brownstone family, man. All right. Oh, All right. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, nice. You too? 
Yes, I'm from Brownstone. Well, I, I never believe when you tell me that about your start school twenty not school twenty nine years ago. And, and, and I, don't, I don't know if I must believe that you are from Brown. No, you please believe it. No, but, but you couldn't start no school not 29 years ago. I did, I did. Right now I live up the hill about 25 miles from Brownstone. Yeah, which district? Yeah, Sterling. Oh, what you said to me? You ever heard of it? Oh, you mean, man, I, I live between Brownstone and Alexandria. All right. And not only that, I, be, I suspect that you are cultivating up there. <laughs> of course. Yeah, and, and so you farm the organization yet? <laughs> Eh? You formed the Sterling organization, um, Growers? <laughs> Sterling Growers? Yes. All right. It's going good. Yes, sir. As we speak with plants in peppers right now. Yes. Pepper, but, um, pe they, they, they used to call it pepper one time, too. You know. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you very much for um, Dr. Paul in Watson Campbell, Macam Ch Child Care Development Center, putting on this um, concert at JC Auditorium Sunday evening. Morning, Doc. Yes. Good so, morning to you, sir, Ernie. Looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sunday, okay. Yeah, Sunday evenings, um, 6 p.m., um, cocktails and 7 o'clock show, Ernie Smith and um, Palmer Hall. Um, um, Miss Smith. Myrna Higg. Myrna Higg. Myrna Higg. Myrna Higg. Yeah. Myrna Higg and Ernie Smith and a host of other people being backed by Desi Jones aggregation. Thank you very much. Straight up. Thank you. Straight up. Much. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you very much. Um, um, Yes, welcome back to straight up back to some text messages, please. Good morning, Jerry. Why is it Portos never went by Marcus Garvey? Portos is what I mean again, the US, United States. What does it mean something? President of the United States. Why did Portos never went by Marcus Garvey graveside? Guess you were wondering who is Portos. He is the acronym for by the person. I read me, I pray me, boy. You pray me. Just like how you, you pray for Obama. Same thing I was saying. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. And I thought it. I think it was playing around in certain people's mind at, at the top that maybe they could inveigle Obama car. Then PF, you know, they said the road were gone sideways to which part they put on the read. It PF recently, you know, it, it, it lead right to Marcus Garvey Shrine. And I think they were playing with the possibility. And that would be, you know, the crown, the two crown movement would be the beginning when him just landed Jamaica and go straight for him split up uh, Bob Mali. And when him leaving him just uh, make an unscheduled stop of uh, uh, Marcus Garvey. But anyway, it's not too far from the truth, um, and it probably was playing around in mind. Good morning, Jerry. Why Portos never went by Marcus Grab Graveside? Guess you're wondering what is Portos? Who is Portos? He's an acronym for the president of the U.S. Well, yes, you have some vision. But some of it might be smoking vision, but it's not too far fetch. Not too far to fetch neither. Just a poor road there. A good lamb's bread. Next one. Ha ha, Jerry. Wonder how your friend Peter Phillips is doing with the last, bus the last business there in his IMF payment and primary surplus obligation. As I said, you know, just recently, a few hours ago, it struck me that I didn't see Peter Phillips um, in this Obama thing. He's either off the island and he was too busy. But was he there? Next one. Rotted, Jerry. It seemed like you're born a spliff and drink a beer this morning. You open a can of worms, but I never eat the can. You mean, you mean after me, 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 me smoke the spliff and drink the beer, me eat the can of worms? I know say worm are del delicacy in a certain place. And some people have worm in them belly permanent. I'm a matter of fact, I think most human beings have a few worm in them belly permanent. You know. Next one. Jerry, is mostly the weed and sex. Hear, hear this now. Is mostly the weed and sex that you wish to dwell on in relation to Obama? How blatantly disgraceful. What about some of the serious substance? No wonder you rasters love um, Michael Manley so. Well, you can know where this person coming from. I can read it again. Jerry is most of the weed and sex that you wish to dwell on in relation to Obama. How blatantly disgraceful. What about some real serious substance? No wonder you rasters love Michael Manley so. Well, I can tell whether you love, whether you love the rasters or whether you love Michael Manley. Excuse me. I'll light up here. Next one. Morning, Bongo Robin. Your opening argument this morning was a masterpiece. Your keen observation was indeed amazing. Respect concrete, my brethren. Well, you know, say, as Obama say, don't um, get too carried away when things are going good. So when I get these nice comments, I thank you for it, but um, I'm not going to get carried away. I'm going to thankfully and humbly um, ban my head and don't, um, don't get my head swell for It's not so. Next one, Jerry, I saw you on TV the other night. I did not know you were a bald head impersonating Rasta. But don't be surprised and don't feel too bad because me myself, I make the same mistake sometimes. I thought that you was an intelligent person texting 
and I was wrong. So you, you can be wrong sometime. Only thing that you're wrong this time, Rastafari I have nothing to do with here, but you thought that Rastafari was, um, was personified by here. You don't know A from Bullfoot, so I don't know how you're going to know B from Lion Man. You don't understand me? I'll read it again. Jerry, I saw you on TV the other night. I did not know you were a ball head impersonating Rasta. And so it is that you would refer, and so it is in some Rasta man or woman referred, would refer to Marcus Garvey as a ball head script face man. And so it is some of them don't think too highly of Haile Selassie himself. And some people even deny themselves and draw, draw locks upon Selassie picture, pretending that Selassie has some long locks. So it's not, a, it's not you alone deluded. Even some of the same people that you don't like are deluded also. And delusion is not a crime or a sin. So you are, you are, you are washed in the blood of... Um, you are washed in the blood and it's white blood. So you are left snow white. You don't understand me. Thank you very much for your message. Don't stop text. Next one. Jerry, you just got it wrong. It was not the death of the evil one. It was the style of the president in his, in his urgency dealing with Hurricane Sandy. It's not the death of the evil one. Or the, okay, I'm, not, I'm not making a connection. It was the style of the president in his urgency dealing with Hurricane Sandy. I'm not getting into the death of the evil one. I soon get it. My brain works slow. Next one. The boy-girl question formed by the president is his way of making sure male and female have equal opportunity. That's how he does it all the time. Don't read anything else into it. That's how he does it all the time, because he knows that is fair. And he knows that the best way is to make sure the boy, boy, girl have equal opportunity, one with another. And he wants to reassure the survival of mankind by boy, girl sequence. You don't understand me. We're not reading no more. There's plenty more in it. We don't have to read nothing in it. It speaks volumes. We don't have to read nothing in it. Unless you are not literate. Next one. Jerry, make me listen to bed. Jerry, me listen to bed. She sound like she suffer from schizophrenia paranoia. That's putting it mildly and politely. But she come on, she go on coming. You know. Sometimes she act decent. Sometimes she act decent. And I don't want the boss where she in for crash. So she must stop winding up. I told you that we don't want no body protrusion. No, no indecent exposure. No, no propaganda. Listen back to the promo. I was going to stop the promo last week and make a new one. It's a lucky thing I allow it because it kind of um, guides us through Obama visit very much. And it described what happened on the bus the other night. No body protrusion. It described both what happened on the bus that crashed shortly after. And it described bit from time to time or people like that. We don't want on the program no body protrusion, no indecent exposure, or no propaganda. Listen to the promo. We'll soon take it off now. Listen to it one more time. Next one, somebody tell Obama homosexuals are not equal to heterosexuals. Anus is not to be used for sexual intercourse. Anus is not used in sexual intercourse. It is used when people playing with one another. That's a different thing from sex, that's a, I agree with you. I tell you all the while, it's not sex. Sex means two different sections coming together. When it's the same thing, it's not sex, it's playing. It's playmate. Play mating is mating, yes, but not um, not sexual mating. It's mating, and sometimes it's room mating, and some all kind of mating. I agree with you. It's not a um, you know, it's not a sexual organ. I read it back. Somebody tell Obama that homosexual is not equal. No, I wouldn't say homosexual is not equal to heterosexual. I believe that all humans are equal, but I would say, um, you know, sex is not the same. Anus plain, anus plain, some people call it stirring up the, the pit. It's not the same as sex. I agree with you, dear sir. Stirring up the pit is not the same as sex. It is pleasure and self pleasure and pleasure and wonder. It is not sex. I agree with you. Just like how two of them coming together in a, in a, in a romantic union. It's romance. It's not marriage. At a romance and um, go marriage and sodomy. It is romance. Go marriage and sodomy. You have three words can choose. It's not marriage. I agree with you. Completely. Next one. Robin, among other things, Barack said part of Singapore's economy success is its investment in its people. Thank, God, thank you very much from short and sweet. It's true. 
And he said there are three requirements. There are more, but you can sum it up in three. First one is um, the suppression of corruption. The next one is um, the suppression of disorder. In other words, um, you know, a lot of conflict going. He said you have to get out conflict, you have to get out corruption, and you have to include education in your population. Those three. Thank you very much. Next one. Jerry, when I listen to Bet just now, I ask how many people dead over the past two days. What say you from Cherry? Good question. Good question. And we haven't heard any reports of the, um, the murder toll or the accident toll over the last few days. It, it Quite likely it could be less enough. With so much money turning off the road and so much road lock off. But it can be more. But thank you very much for these text messages. Right, I'm not done yet. No, yes, I'm done. Uh, let's go back to the phone, please. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yeah, my name is Small. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Yes. Um, Mr. Small, the, the question I have to say, I have two questions. One to do with Marcus Garvey and one to do with Barack Obama. Yeah. Barack Obama. Yeah. Um, hearing. Yeah. One is black and one is white, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grew up with his white the grandparents, no? Yeah, the, the white grandparents, you know? yes. Hmm? Yes, the white grandparents. Yes. Who must have helped to shape him up yeah. to 11 years old until he went back to live with his mother somewhere in Analulu somewhere, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, how is it then that we as black people, because I'm a black man, yeah. we take so much credit yeah. And say the reason why, as my good friend Ben. No, no finish the sentence. Finish the sentence. The reason why what? Saying the reason why he's doing a lot of stuff that he's doing is because he's black. Yeah. Now listen, listen. Mm. Now listen. So, I mean, people are very enthusiastic. And it is surely because him have a black and, um, experience and him having black blood why he also connects with many other things, why he's so down to earth, and why he can live with people. I cannot think of any other American president being able to decide to connect with um, other cultures as much as him. And it comes easy. And, um, you know, you have to understand furthermore that um, would you not accept Bob Marley as being black? Yeah, look here. No, we'll just quickly, we have only 10 accept? seconds. We have 10 seconds. No, yes or no? Uh, yes, 10 yes, seconds. Yes, yes, okay, and would you accept Michael Manley as being black? No. Well, Michael Manley's father was black, Norman Manley, and his mother was white. Well, well. Let's go. Okay. Call me back after the 11 a.m. headline news, please, straight. <laughs> Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. This is News Talk 93 FM. We're in the studios here on the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies. I'm my brethren Q, you know, I'm our program in the afternoon. I'm going to bust it for you because, you know, Obama did spend some time in the studio mixing down something. Listen out for it this afternoon. Now what? 2.30 Q? 2.30 Q. What the program name again? Fun Factory this evening. Obama, the result of Q. A session with Obama. I want to hear it. It's really, it's really great. And uh, I did include a comment about Obama going straight to the studio as him land from the airport up at Bob Marley. But what did he do? He never get to queue in it. He go Bob Marley first. But he go up the garage, so they walk the path to whole night. But you go hear what him did with Q little more. Let us um, play from Junior Gang a little piece of the welcome to, ja to Jamrock with the Marley family. And you know, say, you know, say a Marley, a Bob Marley, the phrase. A Bob Marley. Give me a Bob Marley. It's from in the 70s. People start to use a phrase all around the world start in America. You know. A Bob Marley is a big head split for his team of arm. Um, you know what? A burning. A catch up burning. The big head split for his Bob Marley with. Them call it a Bob Marley. Welcome to Jam Rock. Not the whole head, just a little piece. Demon Juna Gang Marley talking. Welcome to sessions at AOL. Come on in. Welcome. <laughs> Out in the street, they call it murder. I'm coming to jump rock, jump where the dogs and jump but to go now we didn't have a rock. We can't go too far with this welcome to jam rock thing. I'm um, about to welcome to Barack and all of them. People all around them out for me say, we are get carried away with this Obama fever. I true them don't understand. We don't get carried away no time at all, but um So it is um more text messages from you. 
I agree with that caller who said that the Democratic Party was better than the Republican. Since Harry Truman, the black people has done better. And here, and, and their life has improved under any Democratic president, ever Democratic president since. Yes. Um, next one. Jerry, you know you are a wise man. The articulate man, minority knows this. Them, them, them have a fear you do, you don't want this. No. Well, okay. But um, not necessary for us to fear one another. Next one. Jerry, when Obama was addressing the youth, it reminded me of Michael Manley. Then I'm not tell you, man, I can't to Tony Rebel and the youth of Jamaica for it. Then I'm not tell you, man. Next one. A brigadier Jerry, long time there, I used a phrase all before to unrebel. What is a youth thing? And the youth of Jamaica that I used it. Morning, family Jerry. Did anyone ask the president his views about the reparation cause? I think so. But one comment he made that resonated with reparation and make me know he's thinking of those things. He's saying that Jam America being given foreign aid all the time over the years, given the most. And sometimes them have to tone it down. Can't be them giving so much all the while. But he says it's time for others to contribute and others give these aids to poor country and small country. And I know that in my mind, him know, because I tell you it from before, you know. Up to last night, I was watching the, um, the Indian, the Arab, Aboriginal American, the Native American, what I'm called Red Indian, organizing themselves in America. And I know that just like how them get back some of them land and some of them money where them get back, the African-American people, in time the African-American people in America get properly organized like what was going on from before the 60s, from Marcus Gavit time and before, right through to the 60s, come right through till now, when they really get going again, because these things go in leaps and bounds sometimes, when the African-American people get going again, America is going to have to start cough up some reparation to the African-American people. And most likely that is the time when the African-American people, especially in the Western Hemisphere who suffer the slavery and the trade, that's the time when the African-American people and the African people in the West go and get strong enough where they can pressure out these reparations. Because you don't get reparation when you're weak enough. You do not get reparation when you're weak. You usually get it when you don't need it. When you don't need it, because you have other things. But it's overdue. Just like it's irony about life, you know. Is when you get strong at that time you start get support. When you prove yourself strong is that time you start get support. You don't understand me? It's an irony but it's a fact of life. So, next one. Yes, of course, I'm reminded you of Michael Manley. That's why I didn't mention it. Say Obama is more like America's Michael Manley, the communicator and the mother of a white, the, the son, like Michael Manley, the son of a white mother and a black father that was able to cross over like all musician crossover in the music. Very effectively. Next one. Morning family Jerry. Did any oh, oh no. Next one. Morning Jerry. It seem it would seem your program has become a haven or a scrap heap for the political activists rejected by others. No, I think you're just running your mode because you know as we first start to discipline these same one there. As we start discipline well, I mean, there's people being disciplined in my little before. But, you, but I think you know that um, the style of discipline that is being administered to them on many stations now, you know, so we never fall on a people do it. But you're trying to see if you can turn back. You know, turn back, blow. People believe in a hobby. I no doubt you believe in a hobby and them think they're in bomb yard. But you try to turn back something and straight up here them. Morning, Jerry. It would seem as your program has become a haven or a scrap heap for the political activists rejected by others. No, otherwise I'd have to bungle you, you in that too. And I don't want to bungle you up in anything. Next one. Jerry, I don't want you or Garnet to feel that a Rasta why Obama went to Bob, but because of the message Bob has to offer. And what is the message that Bob has to offer? Could you fill in the blank space for me? What is the message that Bob has to offer, by the way? This is um, almost self-contradictory. Next one, yell up bongo. Big respect to, Ka to you, Kabo and Muta. Keep up the good work. Thank. One love, Rastafari. One love. Thank you very much. Back to the telephone. Good morning. Welcome. Straight up. Hello. Yes, Mr. Small. Yes, sir. What are you doing? Yes. As we were, as we were talking about before the break. Yes, sir. About, about um, the, uh, Obama. Gavi and Obama, yes. yes. I, I won't even go back there. I'm going to go to 
I'm going to go. I'm going to ask you this one question, Annie. Yes, sir. Um, da- Damian Marley. Yeah. W- what What is he? In terms he's a black of, man. If he's a black man, mm-hmm. he's a he's an African descendant, and he's also descendant of um, I think I would say um, European. Okay. Yeah. What would you say? Well, I would say he's a white man. He's my father and mother. A white, you know them. Bob Ma, a what? White, you know, White, half, Bob Marley, half, half white. And half white. Hmm? He's half white. Bob Marley is half. half white and half what? And half black. Oh, so, oh, so, so, so Bob Marley is not white then? No, not, not fully. He's, oh, oh, he's half. I thought I heard you saying that the mother and father white. Oh. No, I thought so. I was wrong. No, you asked me a question earlier. You know, if yeah. I if I would consider Marley to be a black man, and I, and I said yes, the reason why I yes. said it, is yeah. it? Yes. Is because he will he grew up. The difference between Obama and Mali, you know. Yes. Although they are they are likewise in terms of appearance, one white, one black. Yes. Mali grew up in a dominated black culture. Yes, yes. Maybe schooled by his black parents. Yes, yes. You have the al- almost known con- co- co- um, contact with his father. Who? Likewise, Who? Um, yeah. Barack, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. that is the difference. So hold anyway, on, so hold on. No, I, no, hold on. I'm going to give you extra time. Don't worry, sir. Hold on. Right. Now, Barack Obama, where is father from? Kenya. Kenya, Africa. and Kenya is where? In Africa. And is he an Arab? Who? Barack Obama father. No. What is he? Uh, what what I understand is that he's uh, an African. That's yeah. what I know. No, is he an Arab? Afri- you have Arabs who are Africans too. What is? No, what? no, no. It's Kenya. Kenya is no near. Is not n- near where the Arab. Uh, no, uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen, uh, listen to this, listen to this. Mm-hmm. There are millions of Indians born in Kenya and live in Kenya. Millions. There are, hold on. There are millions of Arabs born and growing in Kenya right now. So but what? It was not a, it was not a, it was not a Arab. That's why I'm asking I, now. Since Barack Obama father was not an Arab, what is he? I'm saying he's an African, sir. And I what, don't know what, the yes, tribe what? that tribe in, in okay. um like where he, he came okay. From. Like what kind of African is he? Black African. Okay. So Barack Obama father is a pure black African. I would say that. And you are saying that he's not and that Barack Obama don't is not black? No, he's not entirely black because he he, he, he comes from a, a white mother. Yes, exactly so. So he's not entirely black, I agree with you. Now is Bob Marley entirely black? No, sir. What is he entirely? Is is the same half half black, half white? Half black, half white. And the population of Jamaica, what percentage black is the population of Jamaica? I would say ninety percent. Ninety percent of the Jamaican people have no white blood in them, you think? No, sir. I would not say that. What what percentage do have no white blood in them? Well, as it shake out now, you know, yeah. in our history, yeah. I would say, I would say, nearly all of we. All right, so nearly all of we have white blood in we. Mm-hmm. So we, therefore, we should not qualify as saying we are black then. No, the difference here yeah. is that we, there's a trace of the blood there. Yeah. But the fact is that a lot of us yeah. don't have any black father and a no white mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the difference. Yeah. Anyway, do you think... The time don't know. No, the time not done because I, 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 told, I, told, I told you that I'm going to give you extra time. So okay, good, I, I, good. I am not a saint and I was not born in a manger, but I try to stick to my word. All right, Jerry. So I can't forget sometimes, you know. Yes, yes. I'm not going to cut you off and try to spy to you, even though I never born in a manger. I, have a manger. I think I have a lick of credibility. Uh, you're, you're good, Jerry, man. Go ahead. Right, right, your time now. Your Go time ahead. now. Your time now. Yes, I, I, I have a difficulty because I hear some comments about um, from Chronic. I, I, I didn't, I don't even see it yet, but I won't comment on it until I read it for myself. Yeah, I'm asking the question about Marcus Yav yeah, because people are, uh, are upset because um, the pardon have not come yet. Yeah, I think it's going to come, you know. Yeah, going to come yet. Yeah, they are upset and and lashing out. I am saying, yeah. let us let us examine. Maybe we're not going to do it in this phone call, but I want to start it. Examine this charge and yeah. Marcus Yeah. Was he? What work was he doing in, in apart from his advocacy yeah. in um in America? What was he doing to generate money to buy 
You mean for himself? Or to yes. buy? Hold on. Hold on. For what work was he doing to generate money for himself or to buy the ships? Yes, to, to buy the ships. Not for himself, but for his organization. No, well, uh, he, he, and, he and the organization were, had many different things that they did to generate money. And that part of the organization was grouped under the name African Communities League and Negro, Corpor Negro Factories Corporation. Do you know about Negro Factories Corporation? A little, not a lot. No, hold on. Tell me what you know about Negro Factories Just Corporation. Just the name. Only the name. Mm -hmm. That means you know practically nothing about nothing, it. Nothing, nothing about it. That means it should be a surprise to you that they had other things doing to generate. I'm asking hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't get upset. Don't, don't embarrass me. You hear this now? I am not in the least upset. This is my work that I'm doing. Go ahead. And then now sometimes I emphasize on something more than none. And I realize, and it is not a sin for you not to know that they had a business branch of their organization. But the question is... No, we are out of time, but call again even before the program the finishes. No, no, no. The call again me. before. Let's Next call. Call again. Yes. Next call. My, uh, welcome to Straight Up. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, sir. Yes, Mr. Small. Go ahead. You know... More time, you know, the food that you eat yeah. has a lot to do with, uh, with, our, um, with our growth, what we learn, and, and our health. That is why, you see, um, recently the government has, has, has started to, to deal with some um, healthy lifestyle. You know, you have, a, you have a tax. You know that in America right now, you have a tax on fast, on certain fast food. In England, you also have a tax on certain fast food. Too much of our, of our people is getting diabetes. And diabetes um, is, a, is a lifestyle disease. And it is the number one killer in Jamaica. More than accident and gunshot and violence. We need, so we need to start to educate our people to start to eat much healthier. And, you know, you see, the food is here for us to eat, you know. Vegetable, vegetable you know, less of, less of the, 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 the white rice, the brown rice, you, 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 you would have um, wheat flour and things like that. Look, I'm, I'm just mad. It is, it is too, it is sad to see a young person. 20 yard, 30 yard, have chronic um, diabetes. And you see, all right, look, 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 look at the first time, look at one time the country people, them, they meet, they meet them, um, them, them yam, you know, dashing, they were a process thing, they were, they, 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 they were too nice, so people, they have less diabetes. That, that is one I think um, um, we, we need to start to educate people about that and, 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 and um, exercise. That is why I, and the choice that the government is making now in, in opening some green space so that more green space people can walk in the mornings, you know, in the evenings, children need to start to come to the rope and start to skip again. You know, uh, get... Hello, hola, hola. Yeah. Peter Phillips doing any skipping? Big man. Look at that one. All right, thank you very much. Let's next call. Go to hell, man. Uh, you hear him say? You hear him say, though? Say, me must go to hell. Because me ask him if him comrade, leader, doing any skipping. You see it, though? Next one. Good morning. We're going to skip him. Next Jerry, one. Jerry. Welcome, welcome. I, I, I hear the, the call. I, I think I hear the call the, the, before this one. When they get along. Go to hell. No, no I'm not about it. I'm not about the call. You know, the next one before him. When say get along, I mean get along. Like, like him say get along. To who? I don't know, man. Uh, All right, go on. Tell me what you want about I, I have a pr You see, when you're up on the line of world, Jerry? Yes, yes. You only can hear the call uh, yes. a little bit. Yes, yes. But you can't hear you not call in a bit, Jerry. Is that what you call about? No, man. All right, come to your point now. I, I was saying, you see? Yeah. When I listened to the president yesterday, he really saw like, like Michael Mandy. Yes. He was really so like Michael Mandy. Yeah. And I like him speech. Yeah. I like everything what him say. Yeah. Yeah, man, look at more. Thank yeah. you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello. Yes, welcome, ma'am. Hello. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Good day. Hey, welcome, welcome. Um, oh, hi. <clears throat> um, I would just like to talk to you, and I would like you to dialogue with me as well. You like me to what? Dialogue with you? Yes. All right, well, move away from your radio, because your radio, I try to give, give me a bone there now. I, um, well, I'm naturally a mystical girl, you know. I just do as I please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I try to go within the law. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, here and there, you're going to have things that you do to distress yourself. To distress yourself? 
Yes. Oh, you mean to de-stress, to take off? De-stress, that's what I said. No, it's de-stress, D-I-S. T R E S S mean okay. to mean to put yourself under stress. Yes. But D E D e stress. Well, on, D D E dash S T R E S S mean to get out stress. All right, you're right. a qualified teacher, right? No, I look in the qualification, ma'am. Well, anything if you give me if you give me the medal, uh, if you give me the uh, the honors, man. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, if you give you want to give me a knighthood, ma'am. Oh please. All right, <laughs> I'll accept it. Go ahead, ma'am. All right. Um, what I was saying is that there are things that we do as young people to really de-stress ourselves. Yes, ma'am. But other people tend to find issues or problems with. Okay, what we okay, do. okay. Well, well, what I see from it not hurting anybody. Yeah. I find it very free and and, and free willing and of yourself yeah. to do. Yes, yes. As long as it's not. Give me an example. Give me an example. Like what? Oh, you know, like just being yourself, like. Being different from somebody. From other people, yeah. Yes. You don't have to go in details, but... Okay. Just do something that they don't do. Yeah. You mean privately or publicly? No, p- both private and public. It depends on what the thing is that you're doing. Uh, give me only one example. Oh, like you. You would go to parties if you feel a little bit antisocial in yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. That is a perfect example. No, go to party, but that's what other people do too. I think I mean something different. No, yeah, but I don't want to say any different. I'm just saying some people don't go party, some people go party. Yeah, but going to party is a normal, is a normal thing. But it's not everybody go party. No, but most people go party. Well, I have a mother, she don't go party in over 40 years. Okay, she, well, she go party in a certain time and then she... In leave. her bed, she go party. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I, and, um, and, and, um, and that is a party to that. No, I don't know about him. He means a man who have him own wings. <laughs> okay, but, but mommy have our partnership where she party with. No, he's our pillar, you know. I oh, think she, yeah. she, she probably needs somebody oh, by now. She put it under her head or under other, other places? Just a pillow. Oh, far, a necessary one. Far away places. Yes. So yeah. as I was saying, there's things that I do in in a sense where other people look on to and say, yeah. Oh, she doing this already, but I still have my sensible conversations to have with these people, yeah. which they use the little things that I use to distress myself. And they use oh, I think you mean they use the same thing that you use. No, they don't. No, they. Oh, they, oh so they not much. use. They not using your toys. No, oh, not they, using they use my, the, my my my. Or oh, they use the things against you, talking against you. Yes. So what I do is just not to be around them. Then they start, start to be antisocial with yeah. me. Yes. I'm being in my own self, and I don't mind that yes. because I won't hurt myself. Yes, yes. You understand? But if a lot of persons would try to learn to be by themselves yes. and can... I enjoy them on company. Yes, that would be a, a, a definite um, solution for most of us. Tomorrow. Yeah, that, uh, that would be a good therapy. Yeah, because it don't, it don't look good when, when you, you live in your house and you're going to the shop and you look across the road, you see 10, 12 people sit down not doing anything. And all they do, they do the same thing that I do. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all they do. <laughs> like what? Same thing, what they do? No, like, you know, the distressing part, you know? What they do? No, like, all right, they'll be on the corner just talking with friends, but is the talking making money? No. Oh. More than likely, at the end of the conversations that they do have sitting together in that numbers, yeah. is that it will end up in an argument between two persons or probably more. So what, what is the same thing that you do that they do? Well, I talk. Yeah. Yeah, you, I have you talk, you talk, talk. You talk to yourself or you talk to your friend? You talk to my friend. You talk to yourself. <laughs> my mind, tell me something. There's, I don't think... <laughs> no, no wrong if you talk to yourself. I don't think anything... Ca- that is self-assurance. Yes, I don't think there's anything wrong with you talk to yourself. Yes. And actually, you want to know, so when you talk to yourself, you understand yourself. Exactly. somebody else understands you. Exactly. I believe it is a very useful practice to somebody talk to themselves. <laughs> because if any difficulty I reach me, me talk to myself and say, yeah, me know, you got fret about that. Don't fret. You know, and I talk to myself and myself, listen to myself. Right. That's the confidence as well. Yes, ma'am. And but that's what do. You I have. Do. No matter what I have on, yeah. no matter what I design on and put on or yeah. whatever I feel I do, yeah. I end up just feeling confident because this once is me yeah. and I assure myself first, which yeah. is a lot, a lot of young people lacking a little confidence. Now, and it's not even a little. Them lacking confidence in general. Uh, true, ma'am. And you know, say true, you're so sensible, my love, you ever talk over the time, ma'am. Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry, you're not sorry. I'm uh, uh, glad, I'm glad. <laughs> and I have to make sure that the bag don't burst. <laughs> Which bag am I talking, ma'am? 
No bag at all, no bears. Yeah, they're black, they're glad bag, man. <laughs> yeah, mom, I'm so glad for you. Yeah, Are you so I'm young? Just saying, it's just that we young people need to find ourselves yeah. and find the areas that we can work on. Yeah. No one then so socialize, but yeah. try to find yourself inside no, the home. No, may I tell you, true. Find something for occupy yourself. That's what I do. If it's even something when I know the world now, but like, I try yeah. to do it in my yard. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay off the street because these police, them not play with nobody. No. You understand? Yeah. And them, them people who obviously sit up on the street corner and have none for the to chat them neighbor and as she gone. And yeah. Them something there, I got to just lead to contention. Just stay home. Let me just beg the people, them just turn down the yard and find something constructive. Yeah. So, so what you do to earn it? Well, I don't know. And me not earn yet, you know, but I'm on the way of earning. Yeah, but, but you, you, you don't have any children yet? No, not that's, yet. Well, that's great. When I say it's great, I don't mean it's great not to have children. Not to have children, but, it's but great, not it's children. great to put the car, the horse. Where it can reach? No, no, no. Great to put the horse before the cart. In other words, if you don't put a horse in front, yeah. is you going to have to draw the cart like you're a horse or an ass. Right. So it's better to put a horse before the car. And then the funny thing is again, yeah. look here how old or how young a person is, yeah. you're always a person who is experiencing. So you open your mind viable yeah. for learning well, at I'm so all glad, costs. I'm so glad to forget this call from you and the sweet and thing. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, I don't even want to cut it out, but call again here, ma'am. All right. You do have an interview, Yeah, man. Thank you, bro. I'm not going to ask you which part of Jamaica you come from. I don't want nobody to identify you. I will have you to myself. Let's go for a break. Straight up. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I gave that lady extra time. That's why we're going to cut their numbers. But certainly that probably is the call of the day. But it's so refreshing sometimes. Very great getting this call from a very thoughtful person, a young person, a female person. Very nice. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Welcome. Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Next one. Morning, welcome. Now we have to get one here now. We drop two. Good morning, welcome. Hello, good morning. Yes, sir, welcome. Uh, my love with a khaki suit, anything you do, dash with that. And I can't so love in a suit. I don't know if you're still doing anything, eh? What are you really talking about? Okay. I said I didn't know that you're still wearing suit. Don't worry about it, man. Okay, you love your khaki suit, man. <laughs> no, no, you're trying to work some little, um, some body man joke on the program, but, but... Not but, me, Jerry, not yeah, me, yeah, yes, you, man. Jerry. Or some little, um, or some little indecent joke you're around, but, but... but all right. No, all right, next point, what's uh, Both sass and Chuck, my brother, that was the olden days. Uh, yeah, man, um, look, you know, I hear them talk about, um, Obama is like Michael Manley. You don't know that Michael Maddy was the one who destroyed this country and made my life worse than it should. You have on a radio there? Yeah, they're far enough. No, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm man. hearing it. I don't, no, want, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. No, no listen, when they are talking about uh, Michael is like that man. That man come and teach wisdom what some of the Jamaicans did think about, you see? Yeah, you hear me? Go on. What they think about Obama going to come and come rescue the dead. Look here. One of the Jamaicans are white. Can't I say, look here. We are eating more than we chew. Because these fancy carriers, when my make politicians drive out and then pack it and tax them, tax them all out of their limit. We don't know where them no can't say them, can't say them have the hungry in their hand. You know? Look here, man. I try to wake up, you know, and see many coffee. Yeah, because nobody has not come to help you more than you have to help yourself. You have a wisdom and understanding that you must know it and make it work for you. You can't make money come in the worse than slavery yet. You think I like the people right now, I cannot find a night, you know? And cost of living higher than income. And politicians are living big. Look at Mr. Fagner. Me he hear me reading, and every time that thing comes by him, is what he can eat. <laughs> just look, I'm going to with something, we look at him and say, my God, and some of them had to do over here, I say, you know. And before I say, look here, dear, we all are Jamaican, and I don't want you to have this fear. Let's just live with everyone in this country here. You know. No, I know, so they want it to go. They're feeding so much less big, and give little, them friends a little pick and so there. Just like Beth and Wanga got. And then they come out and do about everything. 
our feet say when they say sensible people are there and not because they say yeah, but, 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 yeah, yes, but, huh? but you, you and Beta and Wanga got you are in the same um, camp me, me, me we have to go to another camp next call, next call, next call, next call, next call good morning, welcome to the street, hello morning again, sir welcome sir, what's going on? plenty of things, you know, uh, you know yeah in a, in a, in a, in a funny way no for worship for a while ago, I really true, you know yeah, I know it's true Yes. I know it's true. Because all, all Sandra for, I don't know, I yeah. wish she had gone. Yeah. I, I wish she could go away, you know. You yeah, know? but, but she, it's not she do it. So they're not going to send her away, because it's not she, um, it's not she make the mistake. Yeah, but you see, as, as President Obama points out yesterday, you know, yeah. say, if the agreement are going between them and them, the big wigs and, and the Chinese, let's say, yeah. and we, who, who, who it either are going to benefit or not benefit, yeah. don't know what the agreement yeah. is. The, the, the man burned them thing there. Yes, yes, yes. Him? Yes, sir. You wasn't right. Well, if somebody was there describing the scene to the screen to you, yes. I am on a dunk and her eyebrows shut up when him says, you know. Yes. And she listened carefully in the car, she realized, say, I thought I diagnosed my diagnosed the arm, the one problem, you know. Of course, and I, and I, and I point out to them, hint, hint. Yes, because uh, it's the outside arm. Um, it's the outside person, the, the China, where I come in at the area. I'm making you know, so listen here now. The last time I come here, I saw a Chinese pajama in the bathroom and a Chinese toothbrush. Is who's that one? <laughs> is who toothbrush arm um, you, 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 you left in, me, in my space and is who's arm? Um, you know, a who oil that, a who oil in the driveway that on the pavement in the driveway, a who over vehicle park there. Yeah. And who was entertaining them, who was in bed with them. Yeah, but, you know, re really, him, 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 him diagnose, him, him, be believe me, him have a grasp of what go on in Jamaica. Look here, man. More than enough. They wait, 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 think, you know. what you think American embassy good for? American embassies on the ground here monitoring, and that was what embassies are for around the world, to monitor the situation in the country and keep your government up to date. And um, you put a one and two citizens for living at the ghetto and there with some Jamaican girl, so them can put them finger upon the Jamaican pulse. And more time you send them even go to Bellevue, that you can have a finger upon Bellevue pulse because most of the politicians belong in there. You know the, if you don't know what going to Bellevue, you're going to understand Jamaican politicians. Well, well, well you're, so, you're so right because... You, you, you know, enough time, and, and the pain, like you always say, them, them shameless, both, both of them. Because enough time to, the PNP I get cussy. Yeah. And, and you see, a man come from far now, come a point out the same thing to them, you know. Yeah. So, you know, you know live high on the hog. Yeah, yeah. And the people not in farm. Yeah. And you know, squeezing the people. Come, come, you agree with him, the, the dead thing, it never even come up for mention. All right, let me ask you one more question. Comparing, yes. comparing apples and apples and, and um, uh, Aki, American apple. People like how we respect Obama and do, um, but them not like how we not respect Porsche that much. Okay, Porsche must get good respect. Porsche must get good security. But as I said to the two ladies yesterday, but do you want your roads to be as inconvenient and block off any time Porsche move around? That means it is not necessary for Porsche to have the level of security that Obama has, because she's not under threat. And if a reporter is talking to Porsche and pressing her with questions, and six secret services, six Jamaican secret services around her, and they, and they realize that this guy is not danger to her, and they just lay off and allow him. And then if Porsche make a signal to them, say, sick him, and the security just jump down upon the reporter, does that mean that the reporter was really threatening her? No. No, but she signaled the, the, the Secret Service that get rid of this guy. It's not that the guy was doing anything wrong. Just get rid of this guy and talk a little fib from him, from him, say he was pushing up the mic in her face. And you get rid of him. Yeah. Thank you very much. Here's the next one. Yeah, Feel now yet. Um, welcome to Straight Up, you know? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Mr. Small. Yes, man. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'd like to wish Moy a happy birthday. She's 24 today. No, but this sound like Moy. I will try, I will try con me. Is this Moy? 
Hello? Maybe. Eh? Maybe. Oh, Moya, Moya take <laughs> selfie. Thank you very much. But you have a right. Today is my birthday. Yes, Mr. Smart. How are you said to me? I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, get to take no selfie. Mr. Smile, yeah. when, when um, the reporter, the journalist, asked Ms. Simpson the question about funds coming here, yes. he, was, he asked her the question in front of the, the, the president, and she said, don't worry about it. I don't remember. Is, is it but so? But she answered the answer. Part of her answer was, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. She said, don't, don't worry about that, because that is being... Being addressed. That is being addressed, though. I think I did, yes. Yeah. Why? Yes. And, and Obama, yes, yes, if you see him listening her intently when she was handling the, the, um, the, 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 the press conference there. Yeah. If she don't want to listen to her intently, you know, and sometimes I look on the paper where she read from. Because he, him not above that, you know, him read from paper, you know. And him, yeah. re, and him read prompter. But he's very familiar with all of the things. The prompter is only to remind him, it's not to guide him. Uh, you know, when people are reading, I'm going to touch every word, say, the boy pick up the bit, 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 bit but, uh, yeah. and, and throw, and throw, throw, throw. You know, I'm going to touch each word. Yeah, are you there, yeah. boy? Yeah. yeah, man, may I hear you? Uh, Obama. But me never, me, me never like, me never like the answer. No. Me, me, I'm a tough, but me never hear no answer. It's not a world-class answer. No, me no, me never like the answer at all. Well, we're not putting down... No, we're not, her again. And because you said that, does that mean that you are putting down Portia? No, no. me no. just... No. Me, me, not, me not satisfied with that answer. No, no, no. Yeah. I believe that Portia far more intelligent than Sandra Faulkner. You know? Hello? <laughs> well, yes, yes. You, that is your opinion. But that don't mean that Sandra I'm, Faulkner... I'm, hold on. I'm, I'm, Mr. Small, don't get me wrong, you know. I, I'm not saying that she can't answer the question, you know. No, no. But just she said, she just she said, decides that she's not anti yes, now. Yes, yes, that is her she, way. That, yeah. That is her. That is her way. But, you, remember that you, know? her, you remember that her main reserve attitude, you know. The main yeah. thing that hover around in the back of Miss Simpson Miller's mind, when things get uncomfortable, say, don't try to force me to answer nothing. Don't draw my tongue. Me no afraid of nobody. That is that hover in the back of her mind, you know. So she's not a fool, you know, but it's just that yeah. um, when you get her irritable, mm -hmm, those things mm -hmm. are some of the first things come to, to mind. You ever watch a TV, I see some word that run across the bottom of the screen, some other news, which is not the main point. You ever watch a show, you know, about some other news that yeah. say, bombing take place in Czechoslovakia, and it just a run out, a ribbon a run. Well, that, yeah. ribbon, that ribbon are running at the back of my mind all the while. Say, yeah, I don't want nobody to come, 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 come try to go on. I wonder them why. They look, they want I know she can do better because I hear them ask her a question already and she answer up straight and good and proper. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So I know she can answer properly. Anyway, yeah. take care. Happy birthday to Moy. Thank you. I'll tell you about her straight. Morning, next question. Not next question, next Morning. question. Yes, sir, welcome. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, two, just two small issues. Yes, sir. The first one, since the youngster was asking about marijuana, ganja. Yes, sir. The thing that I always feel for understand, yeah. ganja is a naturally grown plant. Yeah. And yet, it, 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 it is isolated in this way and vilified. And people are being arrested for a naturally grown plant. Yeah. I can never understand that. No, yes, listen here now. Um, all plants on the earth are naturally grown. Uh -huh. Although some people breed up some other plant and cross cross yes. fertilize some plant. Mm -hmm. So plants are a part of nature. Yes. Some human beings from time to time in history come to the conclusion that some things are not good or them don't want everybody to have that thing. So they make a law against everybody having it. Mm -hmm. So plants and all different things get outlawed for for the, for, for the reason for certain people have a reason for outlaw certain other things and say people not for have it. Either it's not good for them or it that too good for I, it's two reasons why people outlaw things. You know. Either them say it is not good enough for you or some people outlaw things because they say it's too good for you. But, like you know, all it's sometimes in some country it's illegal for you have no raw goal, you know. Because it's only the the royal family for have the goal. Right. 
so, people, you know, make, people make them louder. Go on. That, that's re really, it's, it's really unfortunate. And the next disappointment I had yeah. was that Coco T, yeah. who is one of the pioneer artists in you know, support of Obama, before he was even president. Yeah. And they never invited him in, even to one of the cultural things. Well, I know of one who's kept. All right, who else them invite? Well, uh, them invite Tess and Chin. And who else? And uh, another artist, I think, is Assassin. Yes. But I was hoping that... I know I know how you feel, but here... Pioneer man, yeah. No, but you listen, know? no, listen, listen. I know how you feel. But Coco T could be Tess and Chin um, grand, grandfather. And it's about a youth thing. So I'm not surprised that if it's only two slots tonight, Tess and Chin and a, and a younger person going to get it. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we have to go for a break. Don't feel no ears. Huh? Call back early tomorrow. You hear me? Please. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up on Me Awesome. Um, <laughs> we go for say Obama. How can I get this? Yes, welcome to Straight Up. Yeah, 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 the text message. I told me I look for the thing, uh, the text message, meanwhile, I'm talking. The greatest thing Obama said is that China is here and our representatives are making deals and we don't know about it and it's cause for concern. You are so right, Patty. Otherwise, call the poet. You are so right. That's one of the most pointed things he said. And I'm never afraid to tell them. Next one, Mr. Small. It looked like everybody trying to grab a piece of Jamaica when the right time comes, just like Vernon Field. I'm glad you understand. Next one. Jerry, you talk too much of morning time. The program already short. You must cut your preamble short and make more time for the callers. Well, I like to text the um, suggestion, but this don't, this don't sound like a suggestion. This sound like you want to tell me what to do. This sound like you want to tell me what to do. Because I choose sometimes to talk shorter. Sometimes I choose to talk longer. Sometimes I play pure music and so on. And... Um, I don't mind suggesting at all. But you know that if you, um, if you try to push us too much, any human being, not me alone, any sensible human being going to stand them ground, if they even not run, because you can't run and stand them ground at the same time. You know? I, I tell you, I can like it when people run and stand them ground at the same time. If I, I, you have to run up and down what the place. But no offense, I don't take no offense at what you say. Next one, love, Jerry. When... Why when Crawford, Damon Crawford, them attack? Say we are shelled down London, if it, beco it become a problem. And when Obama used Patois, it's not a problem. No, man. It wasn't a, I don't think most of the people saw Damon Crawford saying, using the word shelled down London as a problem. I think um, it was because of the high cost to Jamaica of the whole government where they fly go up there. I think that's what was the problem to people. I don't think the Patois was a problem. Really, I don't think it was a problem to most people. Next one. Good morning, Jerry. Do you think the massive listened and understood what Obama said about squeezing the people and corruption? Yes, I think most people understood. And how he put the term is, don't, it's not enough to just put the squeeze on the people, but you must do other things also at the same time in the benefit of the people. He, he used the word put the squeeze on, but you are quite right, it means squeeze the people. He used the American term, you put the squeeze on the people. And he was brave enough to say so. And he was giving them advice. And when your friend if somebody is really a friend, them, tell them, tell you the truth, whether you like it or not, you know, whether you like it or not. Well, let's go to your call. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hi, morning, Jerry. How are you doing? Hey, Jimmy Masalaman. Hi. How are you? Fine, fine. <clears throat> the interesting argument I heard this morning that just prompted me to call you yeah. is the question of the use of English. Yes, yes. And I am the first to agree. Yes. I have no disagreement that Patois is a language. Yes. However... In comparison to many other languages, it is a language that started after that yeah. and is still growing, yeah. although it is growing rapidly. Yeah. Go ahead. We have an interruption there. Not here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got a break there in, um, in, in, in your talk. Yes. Yeah. I was just saying it has not come to the recognition. Yeah, it was growing rapidly and what? <laughs> and it has not come to the standard yet. Yeah. where it can be used to explain everything. Yeah. So I use the example. Greek was around for a long time. Yeah. And it continues today yeah. as a language. Yeah. So it has grown along with the world. Yeah. No, Latin was a language which is now dead. Yeah. It's not growing anymore. Yeah. 
There are no new words being added to Latin, so Latin cannot be used to explain aeronautical engineering. Yeah, yeah. Neither can Patro be effectively used yet to explain complex scientific matters that have come around in the new times in biology, in chemistry, and in physics. So I still say that we need to recognize that there are limitations and we have to master the other one as well. Well, let, let me put it this way. Two things. Yes. Um, Haile Selassie said it to the um, Ethiopian people in the 60s when he, when he advised that um, it is best for the language of, of instruction in the Ethiopian university to be English and other more modern languages. He explained to his people who were feeling bad about um, not using Amharic. He said, he said, up to now, there's no words in Amharic to describe nuclear physics. And that's yeah. why we're going to use the language, them that have words to describe nuclear physics. Just as what you are saying. The next, yeah. thing, is, the next thing is this, that um, all subjects, all matters, all studies and expertise have their own language. Yeah. Mathematics has a language and mathematics is a language. Right. Physics is a language. Yes. Written music is a language. Yes. And therefore, even dialects and patwa can be used, but they have to employ the language of this specific subject incorporated into the patwa. So that means yes. when you're reaching the description, the fine points of nuclear physics, when you attack patwa, you have to go use the language of nuclear physics, which is modern terms and expression. Yes. So you have helped and me that, there. That's yeah. all I wanted to say, because yeah. I do want Jamaicans to understand that our language yeah. is a beautiful language, and Jerry... Hey, Jimmy, if, Jimmy, if, if I, yeah. join me tomorrow, er, no, sorry, Monday early, and I'm going to spend even 10 minutes on this. I will be because, happy to because do because that, Jerry. Time. And you have a great weekend, and yeah, man. listeners, too. Yeah, man, thanks for broaching okay. thank thank broach broach the topic. Good morning, thank welcome you. to Straight Up, hello. Jerry! Welcome, welcome. Jerry! Yes, sir. That, that lady there, my... Yeah. Was, was, was talking to the question, what, what the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister called to the journalist and said, your question time now. Yeah. But, but the, the kind of way where, where the Prime Minister answered that journalist, it's, uh, Obama must say, when, when President Obama hear, uh, President Obama, Obama must say, hear this now, no, hear this now, no. Yeah, yeah. Hear this now, no. Yeah. And, and saying he said, this woman is so like a damn fool. No, I, w I don't think he would go so far. But I see a cartoon, I see somebody put on the internet, you know, a picture of Portia with her face, make up. Make up bad body, you know, she never knows that somebody had take her picture. And you hear them put on that picture, you no? Know? After, after um, we spend all the money, fix up the whole pile road, and spend half the whole of the money, in, in go take a helicopter and drive on the road, in a pathway, you know? Yeah. Because, must... because that question, where Portia answered, was I told to the journalist? Yes, and but... Obama wouldn't angle it, so. But I would say that a journalist, but, but Prime Minister, the last of my brother and sister is dying by these guns coming from the United States. Yes. You cannot say this is, is not a problem. Yes, yes. But anyway, I don't um, demand that anybody must imitate anybody else or she must talk same like Obama. I don't demand nothing from her. I just, I just watch people performance and say, well, that is um, bold. And that is a Asafa, I'm not going to put um, a Asafa for around 100. These politicians must know how they talk. All right, thank you very much. And yes, when sir. them talk. A true man. Thank you very much. Yes, and I'm going to put us off for a 100. I put him on the relay. So therefore, maybe I put Porsche up on the relay and not to run the individual event. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Indeed, Brother Jerry. Wah, go on. I get it at the two foot push them. I get the copper cable them. Hello, tomorrow. And they're in the St. Thomas. Yeah. I get it that it has adversely affected the FDC and the Inland Revenue Department. Yeah. Jerry, it has been of grave concern to me for quite some time as a country that is seeking and hoping to maintain investment. It has been of great concern to me, Jerry, yeah. that when these persons are held, they are charged with what is described as simple larceny. And sometimes them get a slap on the wrist, meaning suspended sentence. Now, this cannot set a good trainer be of encouragement for potential investors. 
and those who are here, when you see millions of cable wires. Yeah, but uh, it's, 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 only one, it's only one way that we can be effective, you know. Yes. Instead of talking about it and saying how bad it is them doing and, and, and appealing to the robbers, say, please, all of these people, these appeal by we overrated to them, not doing nothing. We, it, it more would make we feel good when we make the appeal. True, true. When we get serious is when we start organizing amongst one another as citizens. Yeah. To help stop these things here. And yes. stop fooling ourselves. Say, thiefing and badmanism and gangsterism is all right. And right now, people just eat a little food. Uh, went out finally, yeah, we're quick. I only have 10 seconds. Yeah, Coco T was invited and he did went to a concert in the United States after Barack Obama win the yes, first yes, election. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But don't make the weekend uh, leave your old culture. Return here next week yes, in one week. And I'm not going to do no body protrusion nor no indecent exposure upon the weekend nor no bus. And no ambush no. marketing. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. One thank Tanya Richards, also the producer. And also Mr. Shadia Walton and uh, Elmore Jameson Q. You yeah, go hear him look more with him, mix with him. Obama spend next studio with him. Let's hear like a piece of Shadia. Since gone, it claims that him no one here from Dinah, Washington. I'm Errol Lee. Coming up in this newscast, MP Raymond Price welcomes suggestion from U.S. President Barack Obama on decriminalization of marijuana. Wage negotiations resume at the Ministry of Finance. West Kingston Commission of Inquiry resumes in camera. And man charged for murder of 14-year-old St. Thomas girl, Kealicia Simpson.